Pull a five bet. Does that even work in Edge? Ah. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to inspect it. Why not? His greatest gift. I mean, Mar that's all, all the audio I got. Yeah. Of his appreciation for humanity would not be a singular product, but rather it would be Apple itself. Just to be sure, we, we cleared it with Apple's lawyers we mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, rebroadcast mm -hmm. this to stream. Steve, right? because we loved him and because he loved days like this. Of course. Where he could share. Our latest new products and new ideas of the world. Is the audio good on the stream, Alex, or is it low on the stream? Can we do so not for only the, to pay tribute the, to Steve, the stream for the, for the people watching. Yeah. The next generation. Can you turn it up in our ears a little bit then? Because I can barely hear it. Innovators. Steve was a genius. And one of the many ways that he showed that was in the, his uncanny ability. To unlock the town. You're saying it's low on the stream. That he worked with. He thought deeply. He needs to speak up. About our workplace and its surroundings. And he believed that they should inspire talented people to do their best work. So over a decade ago, he began to work on a new campus for Apple. Should we maybe lower His the video for a little Apple bit Park so we're not cutting off the top of an incredible <laughs> workplace of the future where engineers and go. designers Try that for a bit. could all be together collaborating on the next generations of Apple It is Park an impressive structure that they have the built. World. Turns out the employees hate it, though. Because really? you're, you're in a big open Steve's workspace. So you've got all the people passion. around you. No, no walls, Live no, on no barriers. It's like tables to have meetings in the and middle of, Apple. like... Desk areas. Today, so you'd never be able to get anything done without always canceling headphones. A lot of, a lot of Air AirPods in the head. We honor yeah. him. <laughs> the new noise canceling AirPods. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just bought mine. Yeah, that was a dumb move. Yeah, good idea. Right before an Apple event. <laughs> it just came in stock. Do you wonder why? <laughs> yeah, that's true. It only took a year. Clear out inventory. They're saying we are We're much here louder. We're today to talk yeah. about some yeah. incredible product. Chasing it around. Gotcha. Before we get to that, I'd like to take a moment to talk about what's happening in Florida and Texas. Quick Thank question. You. His double love, Southeast is that a United redundant States mic or is that is it using both mics? Redundancy. Yeah, redundancy. redundancy. Yeah. Our hearts go out. It's good thinking. I don't know. Does he sound like stereo to you? Whose lives have been <laughs> yes, disrupted that's one year from I have it. <laughs> Irma and Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> You're in our thoughts. Do you think we see Johnny Ive outside of a video? Prayers. No. Apple is working closely with relief. Will we even see him in a video? Efforts yes. Hand in hand and the American Red Cross. Be on a white background like always. In addition to Apple's direct contributions, we're making it really simple for the entire Apple community to donate via iTunes and the App Store. The hand in hand benefit for hurricane relief airs tonight on all of mm. the major broadcast networks. I didn't know that was a thing. And I, I encourage you to watch I didn't either. I watch broadcast However TV, you choose I guess, to give. so I didn't know. I hope that you open your heart. You gotta get that antenna for Plex. That's right, in the ceiling. get that set up. Thank you. I meant to bring that giant one still, <laughs> just to see if it worked inside this building. Is there a work in the ceiling that we can attach that to? Like, now, maybe. let me tell you a little bit about our new home. We'll start moving in Apple Park uh, later I'd this kinda year. I'd kind of like to hear about your products. But of course, yeah. such a large move, it's really it's more been eight of a minutes. process. They have to and get the, the self-aggrandizing stuff out of the way first. Yep. The it's going to be the, the tour Jobs of the theater. new digs, and then they're going to talk the about their retail. The How's retail doing? Ever built Last event, they skipped events, all that, like but they have I know, that was a great. lot more to talk about. Apple Park has How been built much smaller is the Apple's new NVIDIA circular building compared to the Apple circular building? Probably fit quite a few <laughs> in. Connects, connects That's so cool looking. Nearly advanced buildings with a rolling park land to form an open... Yeah, J Jensen's like, I don't, this is, doesn't matter, I can, I can do it in VR. Teams to create yeah. And yeah. Collaborate. Right. Where's, this, where's this at? The park itself 
was converted. Still, I, I guess I've never driven from a down that way. Sea to know. Asphalt I know Santa Clara in those areas really well. You're gonna, you're gonna hit at the top of their head again. Yeah. Green space with and win. Got to pick one. Trees. Go with that. That's fine. I picked the Apple Park top is most portion. Yeah, I'd rather not nature. cut off their head. I'd rather it's cut open, off. No, you're fine there. You were fine there before. It brings the outside in. We don't, so, we don't need to see lights. If anybody, I don't see the chat. So if somebody doesn't want us, I figure we could talk over this for a little bit. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Powered um, by so you know, Apple announced energy. before Vega launched Thank you. that Vega is going to power the iMac Pro. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. You think they're regretting fact, that now? We have they one knew. Of the world's largest I mean, they knew, the, they knew the performance. Right here. They have something against NVIDIA for some reason. So it's not it's for some reason. Option. It's well, because NVIDIA leads stuff. Yeah. Has been yeah. I mean, there's a vendetta against NVIDIA because clearly NVIDIA makes better yeah. parts. They have way better availability of those parts. I mean, just in terms of power efficiency. for something like the iMac that has thermal center. limits. Correct. I think yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pascal. To me, it's, it's staggering that they would be willing to. They must hate NVIDIA so much. You'll yeah. find an right, that they're willing to sacrifice making the best possible product in order to mm -hmm. to Apple partner with with AMD. Design. I mean, it's not going to be a bad. It's just. It has different. to be a, You'll also a vendetta against a the CEO. I think so. <laughs> I think so. They they think that he know, knew what Apple was going on and didn't prevent it, and they they're about mad about the uh, MacBook Pro debacle. I didn't know about it's leaks. About I knew about the MacBook Pro GPU chip. Well, that that happened, but then there there was a leaking issue years ago. Where, okay. Where, where NVIDIA came out and, and announced like a day ahead of time to go discover, that their GPUs were going to be in the next product. product. And it was a minor thing. So before but, we get to some you know, incredible Apple products, being Apple, we'd like to give you an products. update on retail. <laughs> do that. Oh, <laughs> boy. This should be a drinking Angela? game instead. I've been watching these for 10 years, guys. It's a formula. <laughs> yeah, we should have got... Hey, where's my, you know, my you know, Angela? Over there. She's got to earn those, you know, that thirty million Thank a year. Or whatever it is. Can I tell you? Can I say it's the stat that you to told me here. earlier today about the watches? And I love the yeah. fact what? that the same team. The, what's that? The lack of sales. Apple oh yeah, those. I'm sorry. Can, can I say that? Our largest retail stores. Don't say the, the store. World. Okay, we heard Funny. from an Apple yeah, store, an Apple store in the United States, in the United States, that they had not sold an Apple Watch in over three weeks. A single one. <laughs> For no one wants smartwatches. Besides maybe us. I, yeah. Yes. Where tech welcome. Press wears smartwatches we and Tech Press uh, wears VR headsets. Together. My sister bought one. You know, she's not into this at all. She bought really an Apple Watch. Yeah. And then within are our a month or two, it went to a Fitbit. Always said that our my my wife, sister has an Apple Watch and, and likes it. My wife just texted and me and said she wanted an Apple Watch because she started a new job where she doesn't have access to her phone all day and she wants to be able to check messages. Yeah. Right? But my sister technology. only bought it like when they started file, fire sailing them like six months ago, like uh, retailers like Target started the putting one pretty deep. Even the, like the current gen. Oh, really? Because they just have stock. And that's why we Wait, think if you could have access to your Apple cell phone, what are you going to have access to your smartwatch? And that cover the same thing? And like all of our products, smartwatch, no, we design new features because you wear, what do you, wait, what, like you, your phone has to stay in a location, but you can walk around, right? It's like if I, if I wasn't allowed to take my phone off that table, but I was working in this room, my watch allows me to still see all my stuff and in an even further way because if they're on the same Wi-Fi network. Right. Inside is that how that works? Probably. If they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. Single greatest use of smartwatches is uh, two-factor authentication codes. Yeah. yeah. I use yeah. it to find my phone <laughs> quite a bit. Because <laughs> it will audible ping even if your phone is... Actually, I actually get that from my wife. They can learn more from yeah. She would use that or that's, all the time. That's worth a couple hundred dollars to me right there. Mm -hmm. Can't find my phone. Can you call it? It's on silent, isn't it? Yeah. Relaxed, <laughs> Listen for the buzz. Experience. I think more people would be heart, willing to use smartwatches stores. if they didn't look like smartwatches. And lastly, the yeah. avenues. Kind of like shop windows. Outside of square, designer watches, isn't that just curated. sort of being phased and out as something that people don't really wear anymore commonly? Feature, hmm. our newest product yeah, I would say there's a significant number of people that just don't wear watches. And had functionality. So turn on these right. Now it just has some functionality and looks bad. Today at Apple. Maybe. I wouldn't want to start with a watch again. I haven't worn a watch since I was like 12. Go even further I, their passions. I'm in between watches now, and it feels weird. Apple's DNA. Things when I forget well, if you were giving up smoking, it would feel weird too, Ken. <laughs> yeah, that's why you just keep going. Like photography. Okay. Music. It doesn't feel weird. It feels Gaming like you want to murder everybody. <laughs> what is she saying? <laughs> new new programs like photo she talked about retail. Customers can oh, they did do a Star Wars themed event at retail recently, didn't they? Yeah. On September 1st, Force Friday 2. Force Friday. They did like 
to explore with they each do? other. Was there like a coding With thing? Playgrounds yeah. Next generation like you app coded a Star Wars app? And begin to learn the basics of I don't coding. know what it did or anything, but. And one of my personal favorites, Teacher's Tuesdays, where our team. Genius Bar still has a great amount of on the newest technology. Like branding apps. recognition. Yeah, like it sucks now. And, and my my wife and some of her girlfriends were like talking. We were out by a campfire, and I was, the guys were talking, and the girls were talking. I was overheard what they're talking about, and somebody's and phone died. <clears throat> These sessions and my my wife and somebody else's wife were just like, yeah, like creative team. Get an iPhone, and a new position, and then in the future, it, you just pro. go to the Apple Store, and so they the fix it. Pro right, and it, maybe it's not always free, arts, yeah. But you're not going to some phone repairs dot com store next to Qdoba to on Mall mm -hmm. Road with somebody who not has no idea what they're doing, no warranty, no idea what what it's going to be yeah. like. I will say I know a lot of family members well, the today iPhones today still Apple. try to go to those stores because they're cheap. We're going to be learning yeah. about coding. Today at Apple, we're going to be talking with a very talented illustrator. Today at Apple, we're learning about photography. Yeah, all, all of these, like you can't yeah, understand, the, the Genius Bar, so, all like, these programs that, that Angela Rent was just touting, the stores are so busy. They're, they're a nightmare now. The I mean, they're, they're busy all the time. Every fierce. event is packed. Every you, know, you got a Genius Bar appointment. When I was working for them, they were still busy, but it was an order of magnitude less than now. Yeah. And you could still run over your 15 minutes. You know, if you were serving someone, you could get 15 minutes, but you, you could probably do five or five or 10 extra minutes. Now it's like, nope, can't yeah. move on. And you show up for a 11.45 appointment and you then started, the and then you wait in line to check in. Then it, they put you in as part of the store and you wait for the genius. You just wait for somebody to come over and get you. Yeah, yeah. it's like a half hour. Community. Where it used to just be like, boom, boom, boom. You have an, oh, you have an appointment. Okay, here you go. Well, we're going to continue to open the one closest Apple to me bought out the storefront the next to them in the mall, and now they're twice their original size. The one at Kenwood did that. They yeah. moved to a much their larger staff location. staff is massive. Like you go in now, and you're just immediately being waited on. It seems like there's like almost a one-to-one -one ratio of staff to profit margins. Uh, Customers. Oh, this is the first time they've shown renderings of this because they took down the glass cube. Oh, in New York. Yeah. To to do. will return when reopen late next year. Why did they? They're redoing the plaza. Oh, so to take the glass cube away. Yeah, that Apple store structure currently. An uh. entire historic building on the iconic Champs Elysees. We're turning a five. I will say those LED screens in the stores form. are pretty cool. Yeah. Those individual Early micro LED year, screens. We're transforming a theater beneath Piazza Liberty into a modern the, the, town square. Like on the, the ones in historic locations Just are a crime against humanity, but <laughs> also really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Like the one in Grand Central. That was it's like cool. really it's well in the great to of our it. culture and our civilization. You got to buy Apple Care. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to go to the one at the Louvre, but it was closed by the time I got there. Like it's gone now? It was just close for the day. Oh. Originally created for the city to access knowledge and unlock their potential. They need another this store in our much more area. an attack on on humanity than anything as I look at it, as you cycles through these. To personally yeah. announce the opening of our newest flagship store in the heart of the Midwest, Apple Michigan Apple Avenue Store White House. In Chicago <laughs> Michigan on October Wait, 20. there was not a Michigan they Avenue? They built a new one or redid it. That uh, looks like a new one. This is the one that has the, or that's Chicago. Our team that, that's what they're saying, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Pavilion. Yeah, this is the one that the roof, they put a, the it, while it was under construction, looked like the lid of a, a of MacBook. Oh, yes. Okay. They, they, yep. The crew put a temporary <laughs> Apple logo up there. So that's a brief highlight. <laughs> Just a couple of things we've been working on. And as Tim said, Apple's retail. Blah, 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 retail. Blah, 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 retail. Lives. Like, look at all the exciting so things we're doing now that we don't have uh, the JCPenney CEO running retail world. for us. <laughs> I think she's from Fossil. She is. Okay, I know they so had the JCPenney. Well, she was uh, Burberry. Or Burberry? Okay. Together. Someone said Fossil in the chat. I don't know. Thank you. That, would, that makes a lot of sense. You get. Thank you. We're not, um, Thanks, Angela. I am really excited. It was a high British fashion. Sure. Okay. I'm really excited about all the incredible things going on. In and Ron Johnson did fine. It wasn't until he went to, went to J.C. Penney that he sure. screwed it all up. He was a Target guy before that. It's the best place How much do Apple employees get paid at the Apple store? So when I started, it was like, on no, this was in, gonna, so when I started here in Cincinnati today, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was Apple Watch. 12, 13 dollars an hour. Okay. Um, and then I went to Virginia 
so just outside of DC, it was fourteen dollars an hour. Motivated, Jesus. connected, so that they could live a better day. All right, here we go. Watch. And I'm happy to tell Watch. you that more people are doing that than ever before. And no that's shit. How that works. The Apple Watch. <laughs> Literally, you could have so, sold two of them in that so, same statement. So would Apple be true. considers himself a high-end watch retailer. Mm -hmm. So yes. they'll they'll trot out specs about how they sell more watches than Omega incredible. and Rolex and Cartier. Now, totally different. I still remember yeah. a couple of years ago, Tim Cook brought out this graph, and it was cumulative iPhone sales quarter over quarter. Yeah, cumulative. Become He's like, look at that graph. It's like, no shit. <laughs> See, it's, okay, it's they're only behind. They're only, of course, it's gonna go up. They're only behind the Rolex. Apple they have Fossil and, and Citizen and Seiko on that list. Oh. Uh -oh. They had high volume oh, watch one. brands oh, on that list, Rolex. Okay. like Fossil and Seiko. Though it's ahead of Rolex. But what's most rewarding yeah. to yeah. us Ooh. is how much... Are well, it's slightly more affordable <laughs> than Rolex. Slightly. True. I know a guy can get your room cheap Rolex. Don't ask any questions. This is Huawei. No. You know, they sell more Apple watches than uh, Lexus sells cars. Oh, they're the number one car manufacturer yeah. then. How do yeah. Don't worry, that soon. Oh. lead a healthier life. They just say, yeah, yeah, here's iPhone X, and we're announcing a car. <laughs> that firmware didn't oh, leak. One more His thing will be the car. That would be directly from them. unexpected. The teleprompter that he's reading from is higher than normal. It's higher than the camera set. So he's looking all above the out. camera and everything. Yeah. All right, let's see what they got. They did the Apple. Привет, Apple. Dear Tim. Hello, Mr. Cook. I know you may never read this, but I just wanted to put it out there. I live in Massachusetts. I'm a country boy. They sent a film crew to you. I think he's going to read it. I'm a Olympian. He was flown by Medina. <laughs> I'm the father of a nine-year-old. I am a 99-year-old world traveler. Every day for the last two and a half years, I have worn this tiny computer on my wrist. This is the first time I've worn a watch since my bar mitzvah. I was a scrawny, sports hitting kid who never years. really liked being active. I was coming back from a knee surgery. While I was never fat, I was the proud owner of a dad bod. I'm feeling too deep depression hey, and weighing 250 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Sounds like a shot. I know. Now I get up at 5 a.m. If it's five minutes Oof. to midnight, no. I'll do push ups in my bedroom. I'll take the dog out for a really quick walk around the block. I you know what I did when I wore an tracker? Oh, look, look, I just got my progress update. I dutifully oblige when the Apple Watch. Uh, I'm getting close to my standing goal. Stand up. <laughs> You know what I do when I wear an activity tracker and I'm almost at my goal? It's not push-ups. <laughs> Just shake it around. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and then I go to the kitchen and eat ice cream. <laughs> but with very dramatic movements to get those steps in. My daughter was recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My car rolled over three times and my phone landed far out of my reach. Once I collected my thoughts, I remembered my Apple Watch had the SOS feature. After <laughs> being rushed to the emergency room, I was diagnosed. Well, now we just seem like assholes. My yeah. Kidneys and heart to start well, because they're playing the, the like the injury health card. Yeah. yeah. Let's just make sure her I crashed my car. My Apple Watch saved levels. my life. Her it performed CPR on me and kept me alive. In my car, talking to a dispatcher until help arrived. Had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I never would have sought medical attention, which in turn saved my life. My Apple Watch gave me a blood transfusion and I no longer have diabetes. Thank you, Apple. Creating something that's not how diabetes works. <laughs> but it's right there on your wrist. It just goes right into your veins. I mean, if it continually does it, maybe. All the best, Tara. It actually, what if, think about this. What if in the future, the Apple Watch actually replaced the need to go to dialysis? It filtered your blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Now it's my a feature Apple I pay for. My kidney, I wear one of my phones. I have to charge it way more often. No, it's powered by blood flow. Yeah, that's true. Like a little yeah, it's got a 650 milliamp hour yeah, battery that it. saves your life. God help you if you don't buy Apple Care. Because <laughs> no then after that one year's up, you just die. There's really no words to describe what it <laughs> oh, look, there's Wozniak in the audience. No. You're you're several seconds behind like us now. I think everybody huh. in the video I am. is sharing yeah. their personal experience with <clears throat> all of us. Now, we have some great news about the future of Apple Watch. And to share it with you, I'd like to invite Jeff up. Jeff? Jeff. Just up. Jeff. It's Jeff. Up. Hey, Jeff. Up. It'd be funny if he was wearing like a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 
them. Those stories are really great, and it, those are compelling it's stories. It's really inspiring like, to us that so yeah. many people they're, are getting healthier with Apple Watch. And with Watch OS 4, they're, they're it, true. Was it originally smart presented as a health item or as a function more rings, item? More often, they were health pretty was health. a major completely component. redesigned pretty workout into health app stuff. With but like the rings and everything was all they're from the beginning. They're clearly here. They haven't swimmers, mentioned like, like oh apps or notifications or any of that other kind of stuff. An Not industry yet. first. It's really simple. Oh, just wait. You just tap your watch on the machine, get the They'll cut out some developers to show some apps Can that this no be one my cares Disney about. Magic one, Band? one of the things that enables these fitness features <laughs> is the Apple heart rate sensor. And it's been at the core of Apple Watch. I will watch say this after since, since buying that Peloton where today, I have the heart sensor that wraps around your chest. Heart rate monitor They're almost in the world. exact. And hmm. we want to use it That's cool. to help even more people. The calorie so difference, we're doing the calorie things. estimated burn First, from the, what the Peloton and the bike knows the versus I don't really know what this is measuring when you say I'm doing an indoor now, cycle you'll see your heart on your watch. Right on the watch and you got your hands on the handlebars. raise of the wrist. And when you launch the heart rate app, you'll see new measurements. I just derive it from like uh, BPM. Resting heart rate. Let's Apple Watch see. calculates this daily by correlating background see what heart, my heart rate, rate is. No. with accelerometer data. And recovery heart rate, which tells you how quickly your heart rate drops after workout. A Too lower fast. resting heart rate and a quicker recovery rate can be signed to improve fitness. <laughs> What's and going now on? You can keep a better picture of your heart rate. You'll have a better picture throughout the day. Okay. The second thing we're doing is inspired by many of the letters we receive from customers who notice an unusually high heart rate when they wouldn't expect one. So Apple Watch has been helpful for them, but we realize most people won't notice. So we're adding a feature. And now hmm. Apple Watch I'm will 82. notify is you that high? when it detects an elevated a heart bit. rate. What am I, a doctor? And you don't appear to be <laughs> I active. I hope not. So it's gonna. Oh, it's kind of cool. I wonder what that impact is on battery. If it's constantly monitoring. And the oh, third I mean, it's thing we're doing it's is focused on intervals, heart I'm sure. rhythm. Well, it's more frequently. A regular than normal. heart rhythm has a familiar pattern, but when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's beating too fast or too slow. It just means it's beating out of its normal rhythm. Mm -hmm. This is bad. And that can what resolution problems. do you think that projector the is? The most common form of serious arrhythmia okay. is called atrial fibrillation or AFib. And it affects tens I know all this stuff because my and is a leading cause wife worked in the cardiac the unit in the hospital for 12 years. Many people with AFib I don't really know if you need a so it nurse often goes wife to know about AFib. Just We've watch a TV show like a years, ER. <laughs> or, oh, Apple so I believe that. <laughs> in our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work, and today we're announcing the Apple Heart Study. Oh, wow. we're now, all now, we're all, data. now we're all lab rats. We already were. Yeah, like now? It will use data from Apple Watch, and it will analyze arrhythmias, including AFib, and notify users. This study is being conducted mm. in partnership with Stanford I'm going to see Medicine, the... And we're working closely with the, the FDA. privacy and policy that comes up for this. With. Well, this so is... I mean, they've, they've been doing year, health the first kit, phase um, of the Apple Heart yeah. Study studies. will be available in the US. A lot of them have been disappointing the in their scope. They weren't as revolutionary as they Those are the updates to be focused on fitness. Well, sponsored by Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. Your insurance other company. great features of Watch OS 4. We have um, a completely uh, redesigned One insurance company was doing a trial where they're uh, giving people Apple Watches. Face, mm. fun new monitor. Toy Story, mm -hmm. and yeah. more. So that's Watch OS 4. It will oh, be available Oh, you didn't exercise? Your insurance is going up. On September Our 19th. Our RHSA does that. If you have a... Uh, 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 I'll fix it. Yeah. I'll drop it. I'm, I'm exercising. And now I'd like to introduce the next generation of Apple Watch. Is it going to look different? Nope. No? Nope. Look the same? Yep. Looks like the ocean. More waterproof. It spits out more water through the speaker. <laughs> I do think that's funny when it does it. <laughs> you have the Series 2, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have the Series 2. <clears throat> well, sell, me on, sell me on LTE on a watch. I don't think you can. Well, see, here is good because you don't want your phone with you. It doesn't need to be connected to the internet. <laughs> yeah, but if you Why have LTE on your watch. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Like that's a bad time to answer a call. <laughs> like, that's that's not a... But you could. Also, I'm not sure you get LTE out there. <laughs> eh, probably. <clears throat> I wonder if it's a Qualcomm mode. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3. 
Okay. And it has cellular built in. If we got, we have a real exciting product. It has uh, Edge built in. Uh, <laughs> 3G yeah, comes in. said cellular. It's true, just baby. your Apple Watch. One XRTT. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built in So all you people that bought Gen 1 and Gen 2, middle fingers. expression yeah. of Apple Watch. Well, that's yes, it's now, technology. Now, you can go for a run with just your watch and still be connected. Mm -hmm. You can leave mm -hmm. your phone when you go to the beach or just run a quick <laughs> errand. And it's really nice to know. Nobody's that going to run a quick errand without their phone. But now they can. The they with their phones charging. You can receive an important call with just your watch. And, and the number is the same number as your iPhone. You don't have okay. to manage a separate number. The yeah, apps rely hope so. on like messages just work and series at your beck and call anytime, anywhere. These are all great. You can use maps and get directions. And the Ooh, location by my friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. And third party apps like. WeChat work over cellular. What happens well. if someone takes your watch? <laughs> I don't know. And coming next month, cellular is going to change the way we listen to music. Because with Apple Watch Series 3, kind of compelling. Apple Music, you can stream 40 You're running. million songs. Sure. Yeah. Your you don't want to bring your phone. Still want music. So this kind of, Everyone streams music but, now. But I mean, of course it would do that. Like it already has Bluetooth. Yeah. No. Like, right, but just by itself. It needs you can't really do do can you already copy You'll music to it or something? To you can, but nobody you has physical to music anymore. Or or any Everyone streams music. <laughs> I stream music, but I also Siri save it locally. Like, can you do that on the watch? I don't know the answer. Now, the best device for yeah, you can sing music to the watch uh, for from Spotify. Active has all oh, from the Spotify, music no. you need to yeah, stay from motivated. Apple Music. This is yes. cool. Yeah. Because I don't think this is going to work with Spotify. To enable these they could make it work with Spotify. They could, Apple but they're probably going to make it an Apple, an Apple Music exclusive. Uh, I mean, that'd be on Spotify. It just has to make it work, right? They just need an app. Like, it has data now. In a watch. But I don't know if they're... Because they use the, the word cellular. Core processor, yeah. They may be restricting what more, apps can use that data. How really, fast really it is. Fast. What they 70% it. faster. I've never thought my watch was slow. I'll say that. And thanks to the new processor, for the first time on Apple Watch, Siri can talk. It's 64 degrees right now in South Lake oh, Tahoe. It's, 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 actually, it's really convenient to, to not have to look at the screen when you ask it a question. For Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, we developed a custom wireless chip we call W2. Bluetooth There's nothing else like it. Quest. It delivers up to 85% faster Wi-Fi while being 50% more power, power efficient for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. W2. What if you do 85% and 50%? Altimeter. Move so now you get flights of stairs climbed and elevation mm, gains that's after nice. a workout. We're what also is with them in, the, in these wireless chips? Be great for <clears> the W2, but the, they don't talk about it being any kind of standard. Of course, it's Bluetooth. Got a you're getting too hung up on the technical details. W1 works, is the one in the okay? AirPods, of course, the and it's Bluetooth. The biggest challenge of all so. was adding Bluetooth. cellular. You see, our little watch is already packed. Like if you have to you have, have to add iPhone and an Apple Watch and radios, use them together, why do you care what protocol it's using? SIM card. Because you don't have to use them. And if you don't do it right, it a gets so anymore. big, it looks like a house arrest bracelet, no, but, and you're not going to want to wear it. So our engineers have been hard at work. I've just seen a house arrest br bracelet. It does not look like really one. really creative <laughs> solutions. Yet. For example, rather than add an antenna, had a fun weekend the there? display itself two is ago. the yeah, multi-frequency antenna for both LTE and UMTS. Okay. Good. And of course you have to have a SIM card, but even a nano SIM would be way too big. So instead, we integrated an electronic Ecosim. SIM and it's a fraction of the size. So here's Sense. where we ended it's up. It's like the Apple SIM even and the with iPad. All these new features, the red's odd. Faster dual core processor, W2, altimeter. It has to be something about fingerprint sensor. All the stuff you've got to put in for cellular, the case for Series 3 is the same size as Series 2. I like how they're selling that as an advantage. It's like right. the bulky case from Series 2 hasn't gotten any smaller. Hasn't gotten any bulkier. Right. The only difference is we extended the back crystal a mere 0.25 millimeters. That's as thin as two sheets of paper. It's <laughs> So it's literally so it not the same really size. Yeah, the case thicker. is the same size. The liar. crystal isn't the, the same size. Small. The I'd screen like is much right thicker, now. and the back is thicker too, but the aluminum shell... Is the same I'm going to switch watches so you guys can uh, see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, because nobody would have been uh, able to tell if the other one was on your wrist. <laughs> the AT&T cellular network. This is our new Explorer face. And I'm going to tap on the, uh, the phone app. And I'm going to call Deidre, who's a colleague on the watch team. 
should have called me. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there it goes. It took a while. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Deidre. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. How are you doing? I'm a little sad to be missing the keynote, but I'm working very hard out here. Oh, She's yeah, sure, sure you are. Why don't we pull in some video and show everybody where you are? <laughs> now, why did they have to set that up? This has been a very tough assignment, but you know me. I'm a team player. Yeah, that's also, you, that's definitely give, give, give. <laughs> Well, it looks oh. beautiful out there. It is amazing, but I was trying how, not to fall off the board in front of a million people. Fall, well, so, fall. So, far so, so far, so good, Deidre. Fall. Hey, uh, I, I should probably cut this it off. This is like having your reporters awry, in the but, hurricane. Uh, be safe out there, and thanks for doing this. Like, we get it. <laughs> My pleasure. I'm Rock a senior live from downtown. Yeah, okay, uh, okay. That sounds great, ago. Deidre. Boat drive by really fast. Wobbles. That's cool. And I forgot about like beach activities. I hate, but also I hate sand around anything that has glass on it. A sapphire phone or oh, is it on the front too? Yeah, you're not going to scratch sapphire I'm, I'm gonna with go sand. Rogue for a minute. That's I, not how the most know, you it guys, works. You guys get it, but sometimes people take technology Challenge for granted. Accepted. And just just for perspective, I'm mic'd, mm -hmm. and in fact, I'm actually double mic'd in just the right location so you can hear me. Deidre's out in the middle of a windy lake, and the only windy. microphone on Deidre <laughs> is the little tiny one on the Apple Watch. It's a foot or two away from her mouth. She's paddling, and the signal's being sent over cellular coming in. It's going to space. <laughs> He's literally going to explain how it works now. <laughs> Who would have thought? Her voice is digitized using a technique <laughs> called quantization. <laughs> only Apple can make a phone call. It's true, only. We just Everything else video. is just data. Series three you should know though that that video was not being provided by it. We have They're actually a talking product now. Bands. Aluminum finish, no, it's the cases. With silver and space gray. And we're excited to introduce a new band we call the Sport Loop. It's designed for an active lifestyle and it's light, stretchy, and breathable. So I will not be for giving Apple Yeah, Apple no, definitely Nike not. <laughs> what is the I actually like band? that one a lot more. Of their Nike Plus Run Club app with great new features oh, like in run thing. audio coaching. They make a special version and of that we before, have don't they? some wonderful mm -hmm. colors across Still the Still a special version, I think. see in person. Yeah, that blue looks nice. We have a great partnership with Hermes, and the tradition continues. Certainly can't afford that. I always that. thought this with band would, like, watch fall styles, off or something. It just doesn't feel very... Bands, like but the has it? Never had an issue. Year. <laughs> ...inspired by the classic Hermes driving glove. And last year, we introduced a white What's ceramic with the red? watch... This year we're adding it's the mark of the new phone in a or mark of the new it's done. finish. This was made in China, right? I thought it's it was the land, the land of the rising sun. Oh, it's how? Japan. All of these watches were built with a great deal of care as well as concern for the environment, and they're free of these harmful. Oh, I thought that materials. was BPA. I was like, good, don't drink water. So out of it. that's Apple Watch <laughs> All Day battery. Cellular, GPS, swim <clears throat> proof. So that's the question. Faster dual core processor. How much battery does this uh, take for me? altimeter. I bet the it's the same the battery life. Four. I bet it's not. And it still has all well, day battery life. Well, not with using cellular. That's what I mean. No, the there's LTE, no way. Bluetooth <clears> and Wi-Fi. We have two versions and of. What do you got? Series three. Show me the dollars. There's one with cellular at three ninety nine, and oh, a version really without change. cellular that has all the other well, that's great features. interesting because in the iPad, their cellular option is one hundred twenty nine dollars. And we're going to keep series one in yeah, the line. Yeah, but they knew they couldn't. Wow, keep series one, one, but not two. Okay. I mean, they updated one with the new processor of series two last year. Like one and two had the same processor. It was just, just like waterproofness pushback. and. A, Series Maybe three cellular will be available in these the... nine countries. With right, they have to get rid of those series ones. <laughs> ah, screw you, North Korea. And six more coming later in the year. Okay, so all the four majors and in the U.S. We've worked with each of these carriers. I mean, tell me, they each offer have a special introductory offer. For introductory series offer. Three, so it's going to be great. And we we are offering the the series three without cellular in these twenty six countries. At yeah, launch. I wouldn't buy a cellular one. Orders will begin. You wouldn't September fifteenth. So you spend seventy bucks earlier, for a feature that I have to pay ten bucks a month for. September well, and not, not they, haven't, they haven't said yet, and that's yeah. the important the question. On Apple is right to the twenty second. What is what is going to be the cost that the cell providers yeah. are going to charge you for this? Yeah. 
<laughs> if it's like twenty dollars to add a, another phone to your well, isn't this the standard Apple now watch. is like fifteen, right? Like you can get Apple an iPad and it's fifteen on your plan. I think phones are twenty and like iPads are ten. It's gonna be ten bucks. Now Jeff showed you ten bucks a month. Very cool things you can do with the cellular function. September twenty second. And mm. one of those is to Set. stream forty million Italy. songs right on your wrist. All in a row. A great ad it's next Friday. Just that. I'd love to play it for you. What? What? Oop, That's oop. the looks I get whenever I wear my AirPods that I don't have. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, this guy's an asshole. People walked in here. Hold on. Not where he's skateboarding. <laughs> hey, if you could do ground stuff like that, it's okay. Yeah, fair play on that. And it's impossible for him to have his phone in his pocket during that. So I want everybody to understand that. Well, his jeans are too tight. tight. He doesn't have to. We live in a world where we're hostage to our phones, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we're, we're going to be set free, instead. free to give Apple $400. <laughs> so Apple is the great liberator now? Mm-hmm. Well, think think about this, guys. Like, iPhones have been getting bigger. Maybe they're not going to get bigger this year, but they're larger than they used to be. And pockets are tighter than they've ever been. <laughs> And people are fatter than they've ever been. So there's no <laughs> space for a phone. I mean, fundamentally, I don't disagree with that, actually, right? Like, if we get rid of the phone and all the functionality works on a watch, but, like, the screen's not big enough, the input mechanisms aren't yeah, there. But next year, they are glasses, and then you project your There device. you go. Now I'm for it. I think you are going to love it. Next up, I'd like to turn your attention to Apple TV. All right. This yes. is a big deal. TV has changed the way we experience television. We see, let's see how they do it. The way <laughs> so I'm going to rewrite that article for the third movies, time. TV shows, <laughs> no, sports, no, news, we're not. Games, apps. I, that, I bet the, 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 the fact, Amazon integration was waiting for the 4K version because Amazon's so heavy into UHD TV. content, original content. Yeah, yeah. You say that, but all their content, most of their content is HDR, and they don't sell an HDR Fire TV, so I'm not sure they're too so concerned to search about stuff. What if their new Fire TV the first Echo audio. thing? We're really, we're really proud they don't do of the HDR. Yeah. We've They've had HDR content for two years now, and no device to play it. Now, throughout the history, besides like a Shield or a Roku, uh, Roku Premiere Plus did. Sure, but he's saying no Amazon device does that. Amazon doesn't sell a device to play HDR. And it was first transformed with the introduction oh of God. color. I need a history lesson. It took a dude. huge step forward with the advent of HD. They're going to come out with a Each device stage that, while with very it, elegant and working very well with their content, true to life has features that have been on other products for two and a half, experience. three years. Not two and a half, three now, years. The Roku first Roku the with 4K? Not HDR. 2014? Not HDR. One that, that has the HDR? most stunning no. visuals yeah, well, two years ever. Then. That are ideal for the large TV kind screens of that, that are coming into our living rooms. A this modern will bring cinematic quality to virtually everything that you watch. That's why I am so excited to introduce Apple TV 4K. Why are they calling it that? Go to. Why would they have? Why did they start adding the suffixes of all of a sudden TV, to it? 4K Apple TV Pro. Two I think from the standpoint of like a, a consumer at retail, it makes sense. They oh. do a ter tell you terrible job of product differentiation. We look at like the, I the iPad. Eddie well, it's the new Eddie? iPad. It's just the new Eddie? iPad. It's the iPad. Well, it means they're keeping around. Nobody knows what the hell oh, any of them it's are. It's really great TV. to be here tonight. Oh. Um, Apple oh, TV go back to the Golden State incredible. game, you bastard. And it starts with two big advancements in picture quality. First is 4K. It's like a sure car. more than your car. Can't Next product. Can. This is an image in 4K. It's got incredible pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible because 4K has four times the number of pixels as HD. Tell the me resolution is everything. Brother. There's an even bigger advancement that's more important, and it's called high dynamic range or, or HDR. HDR. <laughs> While 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. Let me show He's, you. Wait, here's wait, that what? same 4K image. What? No, it's and here that's it a true is statement. in HDR. Eh. No, it's a true statement. Uh, if, better pixels. if you have an OLED, it really is better pixels. Color, like the pixel yeah. level, you choose Apple TV you know, which one is brighter. It and... supports the industry standard HDR10, hmm. as well as Dolby Vision. Well, we can't use the best mm -hmm. like, Ooh, Hey, look, they're doing Dolby Vision as well. Apple yep. TV 4K with HDR delivers the highest so the first quality ever. No. 
And to show you, we've installed a state-of-the-art Dolby 4K Pro. HDR yeah. cinema projector in the theater. That's so cool. let's dim the lights and let me show you the new Apple Damn. TV. I'm sure this will translate over our capture through mm -hmm. the stream. The Chromecast Ultra isn't quite the same thing, Razer. Now we remastered our screensavers. It's not the customers set top love box. these to take full advantage of Cast 4K devices HDR. are super nice and that's what I use, but boy, this looks great, doesn't Here it? Here we are in Dubai. And even hey, at it night, looks exactly the same as the screen the on my Apple TV. And the <laughs> he did just say they remastered it into HDR. So. That yeah. really shows off the crispness and sharpness that's possible in the new Apple TV. How much do you think this projector was again? 4K HDR projector? Uh, about we've 250. We've redone the whole Apple TV UI in 4K. The text is sharper, the images are brighter oh, and more vibrant. We left it 1080p, well, but we did frame, pixel HDR doubling, clip. so it's fine. This is from the new Spider-Man movie coming to iTunes later this month. Yo, this high-tech stuff makes it too easy. Well, the question is going to be content, because there were those rumors that Apple was negotiating with the studios. They wanted a, a service. $30 uh, oh, nice. price, base we price for like iTunes 8 4K movies, I think it was. Hmm. Apple was pushing for 20 <clears throat> What's up, guys? You forgot your pin number? Whoa, you're the Avengers! What are you guys doing here? Thor, uh, Hulk, good to finally meet you guys. Why are you being more handsome in person? Uh, uh, Iron Man! Uh, hey, what are you doing robbing a bank? You're a billionaire. Uh, hey! Uh, this feels so weird! Uh, uh, Whoa, what is that thing? I'm starting! To think you're not the Avengers. I saw. Has anybody seen this movie? I haven't. Apparently, it was good. I never saw it. Now that that was great, and that was all playing on the new Apple TV 4K. Now, at the heart of the Apple TV, we've got the powerful A10X Fusion chip. This is the same chip that's in our iPad Pro, and the new Apple TV isn't just slightly faster; it's remarkably faster. CPU performance is more than twice as fast be, as the current like, Apple TV. And have you used are more the fourth generation Apple TV? Faster. Like, it needs, and of course needs it runs a, the latest version of TV Oh, you're saying the fourth gen Apple TV is really slow? It's, it's slow. Room. Okay. Now, to like, you don't need transitions that between apps are slow. Ah. It freezes a lot. And we've been working with the large Hollywood studios to bring all of their 4K and HDR movie titles to iTunes. So now you'll have the biggest releases in the I mean, the best if iTunes becomes. Quality, a good repository for 4K HDR content, that'd be nice, because there's not really, there's Voodoo is the best one. They were able to hold the line there on the pricing. If you bought one of those movies in HD from iTunes, we're going to automatically upgrade them to 4K HDR at no additional charge. Just like the studios up them to 4K from HD as well. Now, in addition to iTunes, we've been working with leading streaming providers like Netflix to bring their 4K HDR uh, real or fake titles 4K. There you to go. Apple TV. Okay, Netflix. There's like Later four year, to Amazon every 20. Prime Video, yeah, Amazon Prime. Their 4K HDR titles and originals as well. Now, last year, we introduced the Apple TV app, an easy way to watch your favorite movies and TV shows in a single place. It's been available in the U.S., and today I'm happy to announce that we're bringing it to seven additional countries. Canada and Australia just don't have the support later this it. month, and the rest by the end of the year. Good idea. They just don't, like, no one, the cable companies don't care. Now, for each country, it's really important that we have the content that those customers know and love. It's really That's important. That's why we're adding all of these local services to Apple TV. Hang in his corner. Now, later this year, Apple TV will Can I get TSN in America, please? we're bringing That's live thing sports, no. so you'll never miss a game. If you're a huge sports fan like I am, mm -hmm. you're really going to love this feature. Golden State Warriors. If your favorite team is playing on ESPN, <laughs> nope. oh, yeah. it'll automatically appear right first in the up next list. You'll even get notifications when a game's about to start or if there's a close game so you can start watching instantly. And if you scroll up, you'll see even more games. And in addition, we're bringing live news to the TV app. I wonder how that's going to pull. Now, let's take a look at those games. Like, it'll obviously see, pull from, like, the NBA the app. The time remaining but I wonder, like, if you have DirecTV now or one of those streaming services, if it can Well, that, that, that's there. the whole thing with the and Apple TV app, if you're is one that of these 
people it's supposed like to, to like be turn the su- off. like uh, a cable company or now, streaming service agnostic but they have to support the Apple TV app which like no one and does uh. game. Mm. and as the seasons change because why well, I, I mean I don't use it as my primary device but you what's best it's never game. worked is the only thing like that. in the TV app is a real game they announced ESPN support and of course they show other services available on your iPhone and iPad as well now if you own an iPad or iPhone there's no better choice than Apple TV. You can now share your photos on the big screen, including live photo effects, 4K video memories. Actually, I found that my you Samsung TV supports that natively, too. Songs in Apple music, including uh, the music you have to your use, friends it uses some weird app. protocol. It uses some, there's some app installed on the TV that it connects to. to. So it just shows up as a streamable device. All of your HomeKit accessories. Connected device. And of course, you got uh, access to choose really from like the that. thousands it's of games and apps on the It worked fine for me. And with the A10X Fusion ship, there's so much more that Apple TV can do. And to see what's possible, we'd love to show Oop, you games, a guys. from that game mm. company. Close to They're an hour in and no iPhone. And critically acclaimed yeah. games. Yeah, as a matter surprising. of fact, their first game called Flower was chosen as the first video game ever to be in the permanent collection in the Smithsonian, which is very, very uh. cool. So with that, I would love to welcome the CEO, really feel, Sebastian. Genova Chen. Flower is not a game. It's art. Thanks, Eddie. That's why it's in the Smithsonian. At that game company, uh, we treat games as an art form. See? Today, many of us play games alone. But we believe yeah. games is a medium that can bring people together. No. And that's Ever exactly heard of an what we are going to do with our new game, Sky. Together with me is my colleague, Mike. They like simple names. And Mike, why don't we yes, take off? Yes, they do. Sky is a romantic social adventure game where you fly above the clouds to explore the wonders of a mysterious world. The game is designed what to be adaptable am I using for this? to the most casual players. Probably just waving the control, the control like the is remote remote. and intuitive. Oh, yeah, Everything there it is. can be done with one finger on the I same really remote. I really hate that remote. Oh, hey, like, that's I don't uh, have an answer as to how you can integrate touch to like him. it does, but it's Let's see what I either he has pick it up Upside down, because it has this the same, you can't feel, yeah. are key to or the swiping is just not right in any as sensitivity as level, either it's too little, too much. So by lighting all the candles, I lost my Kindle Fire Jeff TV remote, so I use the Kindle Fire app, he's about app to on my phone. The knowledge <laughs> it works pretty well. To a magical I still use a Harmony. I mean, as much as... I still have a Harmony 880 yeah, as, as my as, primary. As, as much as those have lost popularity, that I mean, you, Inside, they work well. We really yeah, they do. of the powerful new hardware. I, mine doesn't work all that Apple well. TVs well, you're using it wrong. X Obviously. Fusion I've had mine for like, I feel like smoothly, 10 years, even with the same 880. Just like every time I change components, it can't it dial in the right delay to make things work properly. Turning on the TV and switching input. It's all just so. around the world. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to spend the time. The people who can't use it can, typically, I hate to say this, are women. And, you know, we teach them. Yeah. How to point the remote at the TV long enough for it to turn the receiver on and turn the cable box on. And well, keep... put it on the back. I, of the I have the Harmony button. Hub. It doesn't like. We don't have time to show do that. Oh, okay. It doesn't do the training. I think. To the oh. My wife never gave me the like, option. Completely got the timing down. Of the game. I always have a friend whose wife hates it. Won't use it. She's like, it doesn't work. And she like, points at the TV for like a split second. See, it doesn't turn everything on. I'm like, okay. Needed the most. It's all about education, Sebastian. You know, or beating people to submission, one or the other. Yeah, I would go with number two. Yeah, number one didn't work. If number one doesn't work for at least for like twenty with seconds or more, then it's number two. This is a very long time on this. Together, they can move on to the next part of the adventure. Well, there aren't a lot it's of like good, the game itself. With there aren't a lot of uh, game choices on the Apple TV. Got to focus on the the pretty stuff. Maybe they shouldn't have shown any, or maybe yeah, not at all. I have a question. Is this game so, in 4K HDR? Because if it's not, I'm not interested. And play Sky. I don't know if they've said that. It Apple might be. TV, Sky in beautiful 900p. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Up rest. Thanks, Geneva. Sky is also launching on Nintendo Switch. We can't wait Switch. for you to get your hands on Sky. <laughs> Apple We're TV so is now like the Nintendo Apple Switch. You can undock it and take it's it on the go. powerful hardware. That delivers it is twice as powerful as plugged in. Video. <laughs> live sports, along with live news, yep, doesn't TV really help. shows, and, and, uh, and movies, all in the TV app. And the perfect big screen companion for your iPhone or iPad. 
The new Apple TV 4K starts at $179. It joins the existing one. That is cheaper. You can yeah, that can is. Turn off the speakers on my. Wait, what, what was computer? the price Just before? One forty-nine, one ninety-nine. That is the new yeah. Apple TV 4K. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it back to Tim. I was expecting two hundred. So it's a little less better. Thanks, Eddie. God, we're gonna get. We're gonna get such a long draw about the, beauty and the, the magic of the iPhone over the past right ten years. Your living room with the yeah. That seems likely. I back. give it a half hour Next until we hear up, iPhone X from here. iPhone. Are they gonna play some of the original <laughs> iPhone X? Everybody will call it X. They'll call Apple it ten. They're the only ones who call it ten. Technology infused Probably. with humanity could improve people's lives. <laughs> and change the world. No other device in our lifetimes Yeah, the chat's have talking about the Shield TV, the and I actually really like that product. It's a bit pricey, has. but it mm -hmm. does everything and does it well. Like, it's become so essential. It's almost pretty, so pretty big, had a pretty big so impact on our lives. Hands yeah. <laughs> than iPhone. It's truly amazing how much iPhone mm -hmm. impacts the world each and every Why day. Why don't we like that? Our intention with the iPhone they has always been to, to, to create screens. something so powerful. It's now unsafe to ride so your bike on the street so or to drive. But the hardware virtually disappears. Over the last 10 years, we've reimagined or invented numerous technologies. Yeah, I wonder if they've oh, 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 also copied a lot of them. The first iPhone. Forever they, they, they changed how we interact with how many technology by introducing multi distracted driving. Because yeah, the yeah, exact. That's true. Sure that to however many lives the they think they've saved with the heartbeats and the, you know, it's easy magical. access to 911. I'm just curious. Oh, said magical. The app store changed the way we work, play, learn, communicate, spawning well, new we companies think we and new at first. industries along the way. Super monkey ball. What a game. <laughs> we took the viewing experience to places literally never seen before with technologies like the retina display. We mm -hmm. change the way people communicate. Apple, no, Apple is a like genuine and, FaceTime and still dominant all to connect player in, in, in a pioneer in high resolution displays. And with Siri, yeah, even today, Windows still doesn't get it quite right. Give them, to make their so phones aren't very high resolution top. compared to the no, first they're not no, getting anymore. I mean, it, it, it was, yeah, they were the first to do it. They did it right. Absolutely, they did it right on the desktop. Privacy with touch That's ID. One area let me let me add this: if you look at other phones, like. Look at the flagship Samsung phone. The S8 course, Plus does not run in native resolution unless you go and manually change it. <laughs> well, the most it, runs, it runs at FHD Plus because it's slightly taller. It's like around 2100 decade, by 1080. You're getting about the same pixel per inch as a iPhone unless you manually change it to QHD Plus. To this moment. And it's Shouldn't because of battery. But and your eye can't remember. Really see the difference. We can create devices that are far more intelligent. But they can sell it as a marketing aspect that they have a really high resolution display. Right, which is what the Android market does. We That's like Apple's whole position is no, we solve the experience. And it gets started. And we have a resolution right screen that's good well, enough go. that you no, we're not don't nearly there yet. Here we go. I hmm? what? no. Uh, look how thin it is in red. That's an iPhone 8. Okay. Also, it's pink. Just a... oh, it's, it seems like there. such a joke if they're gonna trot out single cameras. Then they just talk about the innovations of dual cameras, and then the iPhone 8 still has. And th this would be the third or first time ever they've gone three gens with the same design, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, the no. Six. 2G, 3G, no. 3GS. The six, six, well, and seven, seven are yeah. the same design iPhone 8. This is a huge. I mean, the step 4, 4, 4 S5. Hold on, hold on. All about Let's it. hear about that like huge advance for forward for iPhone Bill? 8. Does it have a glass back? I no. think yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it did. It was shiny. It was shiny. It was reflective. Same case. I'm so no. excited to tell you all about the new iPhone 8 and the new iPhone 8 Plus. These are a new generation oh, of iPhones. I thought that was a new thing. <laughs> everything we love about <laughs> iPhone. The design is all new. It has glass in both the Wait, front what? and the back. You win. Well, you the glass back, band, yeah. beautifully Eat it, Ken. Finish you win. Each <laughs> it comes in silver. Uh -huh. Samsung did a glass Space back. Gray. We did a glass back in 2010. Beautiful Fuck them. We're doing a glass back again. <laughs> 2017. So they put vertical charging. Yeah, or vertical. 
uh, wireless charging the iPhone Made 8. Made from an aerospace grade yes. 7000 series custom. Do you get our headphone jack back? Alloy. No. The glass has a seven never. layer. They'll never back process, down on that one. Making sure there's a beautiful, precise. I this is the same as their stance on the floppy drive the with the iMac. Further I, wanna, I just want to know what this, what is different from the structure. seven to the eight. Hey, guess what? You mean they're going to tell you? I don't know. Glass is the most durable ever Dude, it's got a glass back. Most durable. Every year they say that. Every year I have strength crashes and shit all over my It's also microscopically sealed for water and dust resistance. It's still glass. And they have a new Retina HD display in each model. There's a 4.7 inch Retina display in iPhone 8 and a 5.5 inch in iPhone 8 Plus. Wow. Now, Apple Retina displays are renowned for their incredible oh, color. Oh, it's true tone now. True tone, okay. And they have great okay. wide cinema wide quality color, color gamut. Oh, wait, did the iPhone and 7 have a Yeah, it's P3. It was wide into gamut. The display. And for the first time in an iPhone display, it has our true tone technology. Now, with true the same tone, thing, that's, on the, that's the what's on the iPad Pro we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, okay. To the ambient light around us. Okay. Along with the displays, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers as well. They're 25% mm, louder than the iPhone speakers 7. in iPhone 7. And they have a deeper base, too. Ooh, dum, da, da, dum, da, da, dum. That's what and I care about in my incredible. phone. Inside, Great, so people can be more plus, annoying when they're walking to the airport with things on speaker right. yes. performance. Here's our hardware. Mobile device. We call it A11 Bionic. Bionic. Ooh. Huh. Uh-huh. This is the most powerful and smartest chip Wait, does it mean it's part organic? Phone. It's a 64 bit design. A little piece of Steve in every phone. Transistors, six core. We're going to geek out here for a bit because wow. it is so awesome. It has two high performance yeah, cores. Yeah, but those six They're cores are going to keep the shit out of every Android phone high in the market. Cores, and the previous industry yeah. leading well, It's hard to compare when they have such a tightly integrated OS. Yeah. Second gen NVMe controller. The the chip. They're managed by our second generation performance. That's where they're far and ahead on smartphones compared to everyone. Absolutely. Android storage is miserable. And they have our first ever oh, Apple shit. design graphics Imagination technology is shit in the bed. This is a three Interesting, because in the iPhone X the device tree dump, there are references to PowerVR, I thought. GPU is designed to accelerate 3D that apps just feed games, their, uh, especially those that use case our new Apple. Metal 2 framework. And the GPU also is incredible for machine learning apps. And those kind of tasks get Gotta have that in there. This our, makes more sense why they design their own GPU. Too. Why? They want to steer it more, to more it. towards machine learning Bionic stuff and eventually do like tensor core type stuff. It's oh. totally fine. They want to design their own GPU. The only problem you know is, is they probably didn't do it without taking all that proprietary tech from imagination. It has new pixel processing. Don't worry, they don't exist anymore. You should have just bought Imagination. They have the, the cache just sitting around. Yeah. Apple should have done a lot of things. Noise reduction. All this helps. There was that healthcare company when they were designing the watch. Perhaps uh, the most beloved the, the, feature before of every it was released, of iPhone they worked with this company the for months. This company sent them all their photos, white papers, and, and then Apple for our shot on kicked iPhone them out campaign. and introduced like this one. their own versions of all their Jeremy technologies. Jeremy Perez Cruz, he shot it with an iPhone 7 Plus. And people are going to love taking pictures with the Didn't iPhone. And that boil down to you're in violation of our it's NDAs. An all new no, uh, megapixel sensor. No. It's larger. That's the case is still pending. There could be evidence. It provides 83% more light and it provides more, it's more power efficient at the same oh, time. Oh, OIS in the There's small phone. Pixels no. And a new color filter. <clears throat> so this adds up to having better color I don't think the 7 had that. A wider dynamic range of color and lower noise. I thought it did. I thought they brought, that was the first one that had OIS. IPhone Maybe. IPhone Plus has two I thought it was only the Plus. Dual camera. I mean, that's what I thought. The wide angle camera has an F1.8 aperture. And I, no, no what they did was they took the sensor from the, the 6S Plus and put that in the 7. Aperture. They went dual camera so in the as 7 always, Plus. We're show you the kind no, of the 6S had dual cameras. Off of our Didn't? new cameras. Now, no, these are you're right. We're you're right. That have not been retouched in any way. They're straight off. So it was like trickle down. So the 7 was the first one with OIS. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, that's not the Golden Gate Bridge. This is taken in Portugal. It shows the beauty of wide color gamut. There's great dynamic. It shows our massive budget in going to global uh, locations for photo ops. To emulate things that are in our own city. It shows incredible right. they got it's just all like San Francisco, money. but it's not because we can. <laughs> the detail in the hair and the eyes. If you look closely in her eyes, you can actually see the photographer reflected there holding an iPhone to take wait, a wait. picture. Enhance. Right. This We're not going to show you that. Zoom, but you can see it. Textures in depth in photography. 
can really feel the fabric. I tried looking in her eyes, but I call the cops. The fabric. <laughs> so that didn't Here's end well. a great example of low light photography. Texture, detail, and, and very subtle colors in this darker environment. Dude's like, what do you want, dude? Last year we are you going to buy or anything, or are you just going to take them? He got paid. He's good. Fantastic portrait mode. No, he didn't. He's a model. People flip over taking these photos. And he got paid. And now with yeah. the iPhone 8 Model Plus, licensing for commercial photography is More uses deal. in low light, and even a more natural bokeh in the background of the photos. So this was a big hit. We had a, a surprise new feature last year, portrait mode. We I guess brought it out in there beta, is and so. it just got better and better over time. That's their whole thing. Customers send yeah. us photos. Portrait mode is all artificial. So we challenged the engineering oh, team terrible, to do that again. It, it can look okay, it but it can also look really not okay. Of an advanced photographic technique, and they're doing it, and it has to do with lighting. And if you've ever had a prof professional portrait taken, you know that pro photographers used yeah. advanced equipment and have lots a great of people have done that. Advanced techniques. To literally sculpt the, the lights the on Sears your face. Sears Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. Olin Mills. Olin Mills. Our team is making this possible for all of us. It was going so well, and then he told me to undress. Using the new dual cameras and the A11 Bionic chip and the iPhone 8 Plus. Yes, because dual cameras are going to replace $10,000 worth of photo gear. Lighting. Now, this is beta, no. but it will ship with the iPhone well, 8 you know, Plus. Last year, they did when they introduced works. the first dual camera you system. A photo in the I, camera I can't remember exactly who, who said it or how they said it, but the dual they were pretty, the ISP pretty clear. So this is not going to replace your DSLR, depth map, but it's going to elevate photography of everyone who doesn't want to afford or, or carry that kind of thing around. This is cool. It creates facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. That happens while you're composing the shot. I thought that actually works pretty well, considering how well they can compose a scene with AR kit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if it's not moving. It's super easy to use. Right when you're in the camera app, you use portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select the lighting effect you want to use. This leaked out, by you the way. You just swipe to Contour the light? A different effect. The, the, stu the different do. lighting things with portrait mm -hmm. mode. These aren't filters. This is real-time analysis the, of the, the light Not for the cheaper phone. People thought it was going to be the more fact, expensive phone. But later, after you shot a portrait mode I'm photo in all into that the guy's photos hair. app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use on your photograph. But then I can put an Instagram filter over it, right? And the team has done an unbelievable <laughs> job. Alex, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Bald is sexy, too. Touched in any way. Thanks, this Sebastian. I appreciate mode that. Using portrait lighting. I mean, not traditionally sexy. Setting in portrait lighting for stage lighting. Someone I think, I sexy. think uh, someone must have kind of made it sexy for a while. Photograph. It's absolutely beautiful. So I think they're so. incredible for taking pictures. They're also amazing yeah. for video as well. In fact, iPhone 8 has the highest quality video capture ever in a smartphone. Sure. They're doing more with iPhone 8 than I thought they were. Because they're not going to have any uh, iPhone an Xs to sell. Video encoder. This enables faster frame rates and higher quality video. It does real-time image and motion analysis to predict changes in the content and optimize the video encoding algorithms. So while you're shooting video, let's say 4K, 60 frames a second. Most of what he's saying the means iPhone nothing. iPhone divides each frame into individual tiles. Two million of them. But the fact we that they're doing their own ISP, they're doing their own GPU. It's literally how video compression like works. And edges yeah. To predict whether that tile has grass, he's describing sky, video water, compression. or movement in it. I think someone just came. But the their audience doesn't know what video compression means, video. Ryan. It can look like this. It's beautifully optimized for quality and for See, they call it optimization. It's this not compression. Shot on an oh, iPhone okay. I get you. It's optimization. Using it. special optimization, we're able to make the file size smaller videos, while appearing to be of similar quality. 1080p 240. Is that new? 1080p HD. 240 frames a second. You had to drop to 720 for that before, I think. God. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So now, iPhone 8 is incredible Absolutely for beautiful. photos. It's incredible for video. There's a that's third category <laughs> of use of the camera that's going to become increasingly important in our mobile devices. And that's I don't know why I want to reality. shoot 4K60 on my phone. This is an incredible area for us to advance in. And our teams because have you can. worked together, yeah. hardware and software, to make iPhone 8 the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality and the first Peace. smartphone designed for it as well. Well, it'll be funny if the, the iPhone X is none of these things. iPhone augmented reality. <laughs> With its front the camera system, it seems like it'd be better AR factory, than this. And that makes a huge well, I'm sure it would. If you want to use AR from the front camera, <laughs> it's calibrated for AR. Accelerometers. Lights, FPS, and AR kit software, software is tightly tuned to all this hardware. Quit going to him. I don't give a crap about him. Show me the specs so I can read them. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. 
The CPU handles Turns out we're recording tracking. the video. The new Apple oh, GPU okay. oh, is this recording this? immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. So I want to show you some of the work that developers are starting to do with AR apps on iPhone 8. Yes. Here's one example. Dinosaurs. Game, Warhammer oh. 40K Freeblade from Pixel It's kind of like a dinosaur. You can now use their photo mode to bring the Freeblade night into the real world and play it right where your friends are standing around you. Yep. That would be driving. Pokemon Go to have decent Here's AR. Another from Major League <laughs> Baseball's advanced media team. They're enhancing the AtBat app with AR kit. That's pretty so cool. So when you're yeah. at the game, you that can hold up your sweet. iPhone MLB and see real-time player around. information and They do some cool stuff. Yeah. On top of the game you're watching. And they do it for everyone behind the scenes. Now, I think holding my phone up during the Here's whole game Sky is a good idea. Fifth Star Labs. <laughs> you can use AR kit Apple with glasses. this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. It doesn't this seem that some new. Generic sky. This it would, is the sky. No, it would draw. You. It would just be the map of the sky. Before. Yeah, I know. But when you're just a similar transparency and move on. The superimposing. What? The app but when you look to the right, you see your virtual you. girlfriend next to you at the campfire. <laughs> That's where it's really impressive. Right here live on stage, playing <laughs> on an iPhone 8. It's from Directive Games. Oh, no. This is a new startup based in Shanghai. It's founded by developers who have worked on some of the biggest franchises in gaming. So please welcome John Atlee Marr, CEO and co-founder of Directive Games. Atlee? He brings the head of ZeniMax up on Thank stage you. and beheads him. <laughs> Smell, bitch. Earlier this summer, with the introduction of ARKit, Apple changed gaming forever. What we're about to show you uh -oh. is one of the world's first competitive multiplayer games designed to be played entirely in augmented reality. This is this gonna is be rough. The machines. In the game, players battle their friends in real time, either online or around the table in the same room. My friend and co-founder Andrea is preparing a match for us, where we play the rebels. Just how I want to play against a game. Against the dominators. Yeah, I just, just don't like that. They're just, it's all just prep work for the glasses, guys. Yeah. What's really yeah. cool? Yeah, I mean, it really is. They are kit the metal two. Because nobody wants iPhone, to hold that up in front of their face. We are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Look how much fun Since that guy's having. <laughs> are able to view the game from any angle. I don't know. You can easily trip on things on the floor. With the power I mean, of the new iPhone. It's, it's really cool that it works. Yeah. yeah, technologically, it's really, it's really impressive. It looks like it works really well, but I mean, for stuff like tabletop gaming, like polygons. Warhammer or any yeah, but of I those want, kind of like, stuff. Now I need like a mount to, to hold close. the phone. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I don't want to sit there like this. Those shoulder things that come like out. Like for a harmonica. Just look at those 4K textures. It's gorgeous. I like what no. Bonsai in the chat you says, get Dota 2 in a game for League of Legends on this, and you have a guaranteed success. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh snap! Countdowns are shown. Allows us to use. It'll work really position well for the, the TV broadcasts of like Dota as advantage. well. Just look how Andre is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets. This is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Sue. I'll just move your body. It's like you're not just controlling the game. It's like you're really you're there in the game. Yeah. Right. So Another. Are awesome they going to nerf tall the players for this kind of stuff or what? Audio. If you they have just calibrate the Are they going to nerf tall increases. players so they can just reach over no, and just, get hit? just calibrate it. And also, everything's low enough that he and would be able to. if a solid object gets between you and the action, the sound is occluded perfectly. And with the stereo speakers on the new iPhone, this is truly amazing. You know, this will make it a lot harder you, to just just like play, like play your VR type thing at work. Slot the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Sebastian. Yes. It'd be hard to get away playing this at work. Or like, like in the bathroom. <laughs> so you're like, what? <laughs> it's what the handicap stalls for. Oh, the drop tube is there. You're when you, you cheer. <laughs> you know, it'd be really cool to have in the, in the AR kit like this would be the uh, the game Black and White. What you just saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would be real. You're fun. the hand of God. You just like yeah. and move your phone around, and look at your kingdom. We can't wait for you to play it and throw your presents into the ocean. The after this month, exclusive. That would be sweet if you could, iOS. with Thank your you. Apple Watch enabled car, actually grab. Yeah. The Apple Watch will be the wireless controller with only one arm. Yeah. Thank you, Atley. Now, still have, like, let's talk about wireless. Still have 15 minutes. Oh, they're gonna, here's their Qualcomm announce. Future is wireless, and boy, were we right. Talk about wireless That's charging now. Oh, more true than ever before bet. with iPhone 8. 
It supports LTE Advanced for fast networking mm -hmm. connections. Bluetooth 5.0 for the latest accessories. Of course, it supports our great beloved AirPods and the Beats X headphones that use our W1 chip and the new Beats Studio 3s as well. And now with Excellent. iPhone 8, with its glass back, uh, we're enabling the freedom back. of wireless charging. Yeah. Wow. The quote, freedom, end quote. Of I, I mean, this is a simple thing. We do this every day. We use our phones in the day and we charge them at night, often on a charger by our bed stand in our homes or in our hotels. Bed stand. And words can't describe just how much you nicer it is. Just put it down, pick it up whenever you want to charge without ever having to plug in a cable again. You're going to want to do this by your bedside. Nice going to want to do this in a cafe or restaurant as they start to support wireless That'll charging. Never happen. Actually, I guess it maybe airport, if iPhone support it, it'll be way more likely to happen right. now. Yes. And perhaps what Ken it's said. the best use case of all in your car. When you can get into but your car, wireless be, connect. The, the rumor is cheap. It's theirs. Put your iPhone on the center console. The rumor is cheap. It's using a C1 chip. The Apple Watch uses Qi. What makes this possible is we're building into iPhone 8 and 8 Plus Wireless charging nice. with Qi. The Qi is the leading open source. I'm going buy one of those IKEA lamps. It's still a dumb spelling. We hope to help Qi. What do you mean it's a dumb spelling? Adoption of it. I said it's a different language. Translated. It. Ryan is xenophobic. Many restaurants, <laughs> shops, airports, cars have Look, started to build and support for Qi wireless charging, and the work. Toyota It'd be really cool to have. Well, no, I don't. Many companies are offering Qi. I don't know if I want Qi in my car because I don't want my phone to be lying down. I want it to be like, in a mount. And we've worked with Does it some have to be lying? Developers Why? Creating Why would it be in the mouth? And we're gonna so I can look at it while driving. And online for our iPhone oh, 8 customers. Wait a minute. Like this one from Mofi. You just need to buy a car plane. And this one receiver. from Belkin. So that's iPhone 8. It's a new generation of iPhone. I assume it's still charging way slower than cable. Like they didn't change anything in the standard. They didn't announce any new. I mean, the latest Qi standards have gotten pretty fast. What does that mean? Is it up to USB 2.0 speeds yet? Fast charge capable, like seven and a half watts. Oh wow! Okay. They have new single and dual cameras. They always sneak different stuff in here. Slow sync flash. Lighting effects in portrait mode, and wireless charging. Did they say over a hundred new features? Now iPhone seven. Came in these three configurations, starting at 32 gigabytes. Now we're going to do we'll 32, really 256, 512. We're going to start with twice the capacity Ooh. at 64 gigabytes, and have a second one at 256 gigabytes. And the price will be $699. And how much iPhone 50 bucks? Plus, we'll have the same two configurations, sure, it's the 64 same price, gigabytes right? and 256 gigabytes. <laughs> what if they just stopped it here? Okay. <laughs> See ya. We'll Here's job man. Starting this Friday on we September couldn't get the other one working. It'll be available a week later on September 22nd. And we can all upgrade to iOS 11 all right. starting on September 19th. Next Tuesday. So that is iPhone 8. Between pre-order right, day and a shipment day. <laughs> this is how I'm celebrating my son's birthday. Son, we're upgrading iOS <laughs> together. <laughs> I remember, with, sit in the corner. I remember with iOS 2 when they launched the App Store, they did it on the same day as the 3G launch, and it was a shit show. But we're not stopping there. Don't try to surprise we us. We do have one more thing. It's not the same. Uh, you can't it's not the do same that when Steve. everybody has known no. about it. Yeah, but they're just, that's a, that's a we Steve. We have great respect for Steve. these words. This is for the fanboys. don't boys. use them lightly. The so crazy teams have been hard at work for years on something that is important to all of us. Please give us so. a Johnny I idea. We're getting the one. first iPhone revolutionized a decade of technology and changed the world in the process. <coughs> How do now, they make this seem later, it is only that it's okay that they're only going to have a million of them or however many it's going to be, two million of them? In this place. Make it fifteen hundred dollars. That's not, that's not make problem. it okay, but just make it like a huge set like the path for technology. Makes the demand go the way way down. You gotta call it like a prototype, like a like this is this is a preview of the future of phones, right? And then you can sell it for Maybe a lot and make it a little quantity. Even yeah, even I, I agree it will be late shipping if they're having uh, supply constraints. Good music. <laughs> that's a nose. Not a phone.
That's a human being. Oof. I thought it was going to be square, not round. More square. I guess not. What's that stainless around the edge? Chamfered edges. <gasps> They're not chamfered. It looks exactly like what you'd expect. No, they look like the original iPhone more. I was going to say, they, like they should be harkening back to the original phone. <clears throat> for the anniversary. No, this thing doesn't have a headphone jack doors. <laughs> this is look at that guy. 10. He was excited. I told you, iPhone, iPhone 10. 10. Since the Just as they no one will call it 10, it'll be all about it. I'd like to invite Phil back up. Phil? They dropped X <laughs> from OS 10, and yet they add it to the iPhone. <laughs> I think you can imagine there are a lot of people at Apple that didn't get much sleep last night preparing for this. Is this you mean this weekend? This is so exciting. I mean, it is all screen. It is so it's 10 because of the anniversary. It is incredible. But what do they do with 9? The display fits edge to edge. It's like Windows 9. Everyone in that room shit on Microsoft for skipping corner Windows where it 9. Follows the tight curve now, the what do you got to say? I like turns out it's on the still an unlucky number. The front yeah. and the back, using the same super strong formula as iPhone 8. I think it's a great looking device. It's made from a mm -hmm. surgical grade stainless steel. A surgical called it. And polishes hmm? beautiful surgical. Image. And look how the glass and the stainless what did you call? steel stainless. Stainless. form a continuous <laughs> surface from front to back. There has never been anything like that. Oh, I don't remember. You mean Mac OS 8? Yeah. It's engineered to be water and uh -huh. dust resistant at a microscopic high. level. Yeah. Why don't they use IP certifications? No, they do. Finishes, space gray and yeah. silver. Oh. Two colors. Each has incredible depth and a pearl essence to the color. And the the color. rumor was three. Would there be like a goldish color? iPhone 10 has an all new display. <clears throat> he just called all it iPhone 10, by the way. The yeah. Super Retina display. They said that when they announced it. Oh, okay. But yeah. Apple does not pronounce the Roman numeral 10 the as anything but 10. quality and responsiveness and efficiency is really quite a breakthrough in mobile displays. To start with, the Super Retina display is 5.8 inches on the diagonal. It's got 2436 by 1125 right. resolution. That's over 2.7 million pixels. Uh, 458 pixels. Resolutions don't matter the anymore. They're I know, but this anything. looks like they're scaling it with the existing. <clears throat> well, the PPI is higher. It's remarkable how this larger display can be packed into a phone that fits so comfortably in our hands. The Super Retina display uses OLED technology. This is the first OLED display great enough to be in an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Traditional OLED displays oh, Phil. have great benefits. Oh, you is almost it Pentile? Made it oh, Sebastian? You almost made it, buddy. And no no. Backlight means Would Apple ship a Pentile better. display, Sebastian? But they came with trade-offs. If they are Brightness not, and rich colors and color then it accuracy, actually is a first. At least compared to our Retina display. Wait, really? They, would, the they said an OLED had brightness issues? And lives up to they do. All that we expect well, years, from an years ago, display. there's OLEDs yeah, have brightness yeah, issues. Not, like, yeah. Yeah, they do. In addition, the new Super Retina display... They do. The reason that the current HDR gen of OLEDs don't Dolby is because they use a white HDR LED as a fourth formats. element. Hmm. It has an incredible, a million to one contrast ratio. It has the best well, color accuracy. Really, it should be just like It integrates our unique 3D technology right into the display. And like iPhone 8, it includes True Tone. Now, all this innovative Super Retina display technology so it's is not 120 hertz. but it's the point of it that matters. He didn't and the say point that, of they? it is to enable an entirely there, new you know. experience that's more fluid, more intuitive. So let's start with the simplest thing. How do you wake up your iPhone 10? Well, punch certainly it, you can raise to wake just like before, <laughs> but now you can also just Kiss tap it. on the screen and it wakes up. But that's definitely an Android feature. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Now with the display going edge to edge and top to tap bottom, to wake. bottom, there's no more home. Should double tap though. Now, this is an important part and a big I think, step. I don't know if it was LG that started that. I know that. Um, it was LG who started it when they had the button on the back. So many tasks is an opportunity. Yeah, you pretty much had to use it for that Zen phone too, how iPhone as well. The and power how button was like all the way in the top middle. Yeah. So now, when you I've want actually to wanted that feature on iOS for a long time. You simply swipe up from the bottom, and you go home. It's that simple. It's that easy. It's incredible. But Phil, you might be saying, what if I have a lock time, on it? You'll know there's never been a better way. And it works the same way across the well, system. Well, it turns out we couldn't get an app, like mail, the fingerprint sensor home, working integrated with the screen. Swipe up from the bottom, and you go home. So that solves that easy, the and government that encryption intuitive. issue. And so much. Get rid of no more. You swipe <laughs> up. Now, the same fluid gesture your phone, also works for multitasking. So if you're in an app and you want to multitask, 
You just swipe up from the bottom, you it's pause be for a split second, huh, and you're in an multi facial recognition. And then you can tap on any it app. It isn't 3D touch. Right to it. No, it is 3D touch. Yeah, they, said it they said it was. We also use the home button. No, but like swiping up so from the bottom isn't a 3D now. touch course, action. Like, you, just you, you know what it is? You say, know what it is? Hey, it's Siri. a fucking web OS action. No, I didn't. anyone's phones off. All they're doing with this is is the final the side button theft of the rest of larger, WebOS's original idea. The side button is larger. <laughs> Good. Is it I know red? What you're thinking about. Well, what right. about unlocking? <laughs> How do you unlock your phone with iPhone? But did they say what CPU is in it? This has been very no, important part of that. the iPhone user experience from the very beginning. The first iPhone we led the way with multi-touch, and we created slide to unlock. And this protected the iPhone from turning on when you didn't want it to, like in your pocket. Who Starting says with I don't iPhone want that? 5S, we invented Touch ID. We made it fast and easy to protect all your data and unlock all your right. phone with just your fingerprint. And Touch ID became the gold standard of consumer device biometric protection. <laughs> but we know we can do something that's better. Yeah. With iPhone 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. We call this Face ID. Face ID. An amazing so idea in practice. Face ID is the future Principal. of how we will unlock Principal. our smartphones and protect yes. our sensitive information. <laughs> to make Face ID possible took some of the most advanced technology we have ever created. And much of it is packed right up here into this tiny little area. Please tell me what you display. created. We call this the True Depth Camera System. And it is made up of incredible state-of-the-art technology. There's an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, the front side camera, and a dot projector. And that's not all. There's also the proximity sensor, the ambient light sensor, the speaker and microphone, all packed into this true depth camera system area. It is amazing. So in a dark room, does it, like, it flash your face? Every time it's you IR. Your iPhone it's 10, IR. It detects your face oh, okay. with the flood illuminator, even in the dark. The IR camera takes an IR image. The dot projector projects out over 30,000 invisible IR dots. Ah! <laughs> yes. We use the IR image and the dot pattern, and we push them through neural networks oh. to create a mathematical model of your face. This is now the most expensive to repair phone in the world. Against the one that we've stored that you set up earlier to see if it's a match and unlock your phone. And this all happens in real time. It all happens invisibly. You don't see these things going off. It's incredible. It just all works and all happens. It has to the next time you network. drop your Great phone and one ID. of those is misaligned, it doesn't work. Of people around the world, and the team took over a billion images. And with that, they developed multiple <clears throat> neural networks to create Face ID. Not one, not two, and but to multiple. to process the machine learning in Face ID's neural networks, so this is uh, Apple's first if ever you Neural engine. Your religion requires yeah. you to wear anything it's over your face. Deal. You cannot in unlock pockets, your iPhone. In our public. phones is an A11 bionic That's chip with a, a built-in neural engine to what process that, face recognition. Oh, and what if you got injured and had a bandage over part of your head? <laughs> now the neural engine is specialized hardware built for specific well, maybe it, it'll focus on, learning algorithms. on retina. This is another example of no. incredible Ooh. collaboration no, between one the hardware. There and software teams that's only possible at Apple. What if you were born without eyeballs? The neural engine <laughs> is a state-of-the-art <laughs> ultra-fast <laughs> software. Yeah, you're, 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 you're getting a Windows phone. Ever. It's a dual-core design. It can perform over 600 billion operations neural per engine. second, and it's used to the real-time processing of Face ID recognition. But Tensor for cores? For us, it's just super easy and mm. fun to use. Essentially. When you set up Face ID, you just follow the on-screen instructions and it tells you how to move your head around in the camera so Face ID can recognize your face. And that's it. You do that once when I mean, you there are some up. accessibility issues with face that. Face ID yeah, learns that's Like some legitimate face. ones. Yeah. Even if sure, you but there are with Touch ID as well. Style, you decide to put on glasses. You're wearing a hat. What if the you length do it up of your any way you do it, changes face ID like drastically face. from day to day. It <laughs> <to> you shape <laughs> it down or something. And it adapts to you as your face changes oh, over time. Let's say you start to grow a beard. It, it works you have to day, like look at it every day. It works at night. Move your head the slowly to create the circle. To make sure the face ID can easily be spoofed by things like photographs. Wait, They've even gone printed a photograph. and worked with professional mm -hmm. mask makers and makeup artists in Hollywood <laughs> to 
protect against these attempts to beat face ID. These are actual masks used by the engineering team to train the That's neural really networks creepy. to protect against them in face ID. It's incredible. It's not what creepy at all. You it's not a game of thrones episode. Your face data. To. Yes. <laughs> What if you have, remember the movie Face Off? Oh, so Nicholas bad. Cage. Yeah. And, uh, so bad. Uh, John Tulsa. What if you're in a face off okay. situation? All the processing is done on iPhone 10 and not sent to a server. We I mean, it's, user it's Windows Hello, that but means your eyes are closed, you're looking away, it's not going to unlock. Now, how do we compare that to Touch ID? How secure is it? Well, there's no perfect system, not even biometric. People keep ones, pointing out identical earlier, twins, like that's not a fringe case, and that their faces are actually identical, which protection. they're not. And the data for Touch ID <laughs> like identical twins don't have identical faces. No. <laughs> I wonder how close a it would have to, like how, how it's taking thirty thousand points. How precise is it though? Because you know it can adapt to like they were showing the hairstyles and glasses and hats ID. and scarves. I bet like they say that here. How much room for error? Hey guys, I just I just realized. You know how they, they emphasize like the health benefits of the watch and how it can save your life. Yeah. The chance that a what if you're stung by a bee and your face your swells up like a basketball and, <laughs> and you grab your phone to call 911? You're alone in a. <laughs> of course, the statistics are lower if that person shares a close genetic them? relationship with you. Oh, totally mm, okay, different. Uh, you happen to have an evil huh. twin. You die. You really need to Thanks, protect Apple. your passcode where your sense of data okay. is passcode. Now I look like, like an idiot. Don't. Face ID also works with <laughs> Apple Pay. So their answer was, don't use so it. So to pay for things, you just double tap. Uh, the answer was, yes, if you happen to have an identical twin you you're worried about getting in your phone, use a passcode. Yeah. Hold it I think it's all right. <laughs> Fast, intuitive, simple. Face ID also works with third-party apps. Third -party well, no, how well it works when your phone is sitting ID on your desk. ID. So apps like Mint, 1Password, E-Trade will all work with Face ID. That's good. That, was that ID. the shit emoji on, on the E-Trade app? For unlocking your <laughs> iPhone I hope so. Your I think data. that was. It uses the innovative True Depth camera system. It's trained with neural networks. Like, this is it's cool if it works well. It if it's not, face, I don't care. It yeah. to your face over time. I want to know now. It's It'll aware work well. of your attention. It works with Apple Pay. I mean, I've seen how well Windows Hello, Hello works. And I imagine this could work at least that well, if not better. And it's going to enable so many great new users. I, I, I believe their original vision was to integrate touch because we knew that anyway. And Samsung was trying to do the same thing. But they wanted to have it so that you could swipe up to unlock your phone and it would read your fingerprint simultaneously. We use to communicate with others and to express emotion. But of course, you can't customize I don't get why it's so hard. The fingerprint sensor is passive anyway. I'm sorry. Are we talking about emoji now? Yes, an emoji. An emoji. These are animated emojis. You can map, we just you can map like, your expression onto an emoji, essentially. These are emojis okay. that you control. Including the poo face. emoji. Mm, great. So this is Snapchats. Uh, in emojis track yeah. more than Oh, man. I wonder oh, if they're going to have an API oh, for this. Just, They've been all right. Set fire to the universe. Burn it down. <laughs> yep. Burn it all down. <laughs> I'm going to send the you guys these every day. The emoji will now have the coils the like forming the, the solid poo. Right from within. It'll just be Apple flinging messages. little particles. Do it. No. Said, a little late. Where are you? Whose voice you was that? From a dozen I like Norm MacDonald. It did. A little bit. Share and express whatever oh. you want to express to your family and Yes. That's bad on yeah. a lot of levels, really Jim. That's that? that dark on a lot of levels. <laughs> iPhone 10 and what it's like to use it. This is the very first This is time. not good. Craig? Hey. Oh, that's hey, my favorite guy. Jim, Mr. This is Dad society. Jokes. Okay. I'm this is the world we live in. Mm. To be able to give all of you your first live look at iPhone oh, no. 10. Uh, this is a phone we've been <laughs> dreaming about for a long time, but the reality of it in your hand, it's, uh, it's really something epic. So let's take a look. I wanted to send a little birthday cake icon to my dad because he likes those little emojis now, sure and it changed it, the whole screen into one of the full looking what do you call lens them? yeah and like swiping you know, up. streamers and, you know, and let's try that again <laughs> oh 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 ho, ho, ho. let's uh go to back up here oh shit <clears throat> the first time they went to demo face Get id right it didn't in. work hey. so here oh, we are that's and you that's see rough you think the backup was an over you know they, they automatically override it's on the backup beautiful just to make sure all of your content and your gestures I'm just going to go into the I want the to see him demo here. Face ID you can five just see more how times. Apps look, when they take advantage of the edge-to-edge -edge display. Now, exiting an app 
couldn't be easier. You just swipe from the bottom, just like this. Why doesn't it use 3D right touch as a fake screen. button? Let me do that again. Just because the bottom is, might be interactable right screen. Let's take a look at the web. What do you mean? It just looks Like, I expect it to be a virtual button where the home button would be. No, it with, goes screen with 3D all touch. the way down. Sports are just gorgeous yes, I know that. Well. I know that, Ryan. Jump but into this one. If you just put 3D touch where the home button should be, but I'm saying the applications will have things there. Don't let them put 3D touch right there. Then why have the screen go all the way down? Now, video, of course, is unbelievable. So you can display stuff. Super Retina display. It looks great in portrait and in landscape. And of course, this is oh, the HDR video. The landscape looks kind of stupid. Because it looks kind of weird with the, uh, the thing on the left. Oh. Uh -oh. Phil told you a little bit about multitasking on the device. Let me show you. I'm just going to jump into Maps. If I want to move between my applications, I can just swipe up and stop. The pre did like the cutout on the top of the screen too, didn't it? Tap. Did what? Like Lift. they had the UI elements on the it's top of the screen like that, that too. Easy. And we have a great shortcut as well. You can actually move back between apps just by swiping along the bottom like this. Alan wants to know how we get to the notification center, and I don't know the answer to that yet. Really easy. Swipe down through your now cameras. Behind the uh, cameras. The center. Center. And worry not. Right where your status indicators are just in push the upper right hand corner, you can just swipe down. And get it control center. Oh, okay. That fingerprint. But exactly. what about notifications? On the other side? Again, at face ID. Just <laughs> unlocking your phone yeah, is just please. amazingly intuitive. You just raise it, look at it, and swipe Doesn't right have up to and raise it. I don't. Sometimes I don't want to point my phone fast. at my face. So I'm just like, going to do that. Uh, again. Show me doing it at the angle. Just raise it, look at it, swipe. I don't have to wait. And it's also really, really That's smart. slower so than touch ID. So let's say I wake my phone, and I'm not looking at it. It stays locked. But once I give it my, once I give it my attention, well, it unlocks, and I can get right That's in. That's slower. It's really cool. Now, Face ID is also great. But they should be able to improve it with so software, register, whereas like Touch ID needed a new sensor the side button to get faster. I'm authenticated. I'm not saying it that will. is a good point. And I can get in. Just like so, that. you get authenticated now, and then the you put it down. The camera behind Wait, Face ID isn't just about authentication. In fact, we've extended AI hey on, sir. some incredible new face tracking capabilities. I want to see if there's an API for the face tracking, or if it's just experiences. them. Now, we've been working on one with Snapchat. Okay, there you go. Like this is this now. is fucking gigantic. I don't know why we got to cuss all the time. All of a sudden, <laughs> it's a Snapchat. You know how many people use face filters in Snapchat? A lot. And if it like works a lot better on a certain iPhone, that's a selling point. Sure. The tracking is just unreal. Unfortunately, yes. Check out this one. That's now just creepy. Look at the detail over the eyes. Look at the, the teeth. Incredible oh. metallic reflections. The quality of the tracking, it's, it's just stunning. Now, of course, many of us like to communicate with emoji. And with Who are you animals, excitingly you typing to about Snapchat? Personality. <laughs> oh my God! They just got new Snapchat so emojis. I was right being sarcastic in that chat. So go right in here, and mm -hmm. I can, if you can imagine, I was being sarcastic. Me. So I can make no. whatever expression I want, like, and just pick that up and use it as a sticker. Drop it on my <clears> message like that. Okay, this is the we worst. We also let you manipulate these in full screen. You can audition your favorites, and there's some really great ones, like the kitty cat. He's so expressive and ferocious. <laughs> Oh, that's so <laughs> creepy. It's a happy puppy. Check out the physics in the ears. <sighs> the pig. <laughs> We've got a chicken. <laughs> and the Craig, unicorn. you're just too much. Mythical creature, favorite of the startup. <laughs> and oh, oh, wait, oh, he brought oh, the he poop emoji. Show the poop emoji. If you were by chance wondering what humanity would do when given access to the most advanced <laughs> facial tracking technology available, you now have your answer. <laughs> now, That's these are going to be good. so much fun, you're going to want to share them. And fortunately, we let you record messages. I'm yeah, going to record a message here for Tim. Hey, uh, Tim, I'm not sure what the protocol is here, but I'd like to call dibs on the Fox. It's not really for accurate. It's not really in mouth movement. Uh, which one do you it's like? Mouth movement. Hey, uh, Tim, I'm not sure what the protocol is here, it's but I'd like to call pretty good for a phone tracking your face, my favorite emoji. Uh, it's the world's uh, most advanced face like? tracking stuff. Yeah, you just you told me. Like that, and then, and then have the fox test. not animate correctly. Video right inside the transcript. If we're really lucky for our grand finale, we might just get a response 
back from Tim. <laughs> oh, here it is. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. I am your leader. Let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> Tonight I harvest your organs. It's really cool that they have an API for it, though. Like well, they didn't really say that. They said they're working with Snapchat. They don't so do that, that though. They don't do, let third-party apps hit the private APIs. Mm. The amazing experience they don't. With the true depth camera. What if they no, would no, make no, an exception for yeah, Snapchat? It. Thank you very much. What about you? Otherwise, they just don't want to say the Snapchat in a way that no other app can do. That's, you, like they do that's Apple integrating it into now the Maps app, not Yelp integrating their apps into Maps. They do deals with certain companies sometimes. Well, yeah, they didn't even talk about the back camera yet. 12, 12 megapixel sensors, dual cameras, both a faster sensors, wider sensors, just like in iPhone 8. Does new color filters, new deeper pixels. There's an f1.8 aperture on the wide angle camera. Wait, what's a and a faster f2.4 aperture on the telephoto. So that lets in 36% more light to the telephoto camera. But the big news on the camera, the <laughs> iPhone 10, is that it has dual optical image stabilization. That means there's OIS on both the wide angle and the telephoto lens. That's a lot this of magnets. This is what Samsung just announced with the space, uh, Note 8. Mm. With compensating for handshake and to take better dual photos OIS. and videos in low light. We could just like they're probably using the same It's also a better time. quad LED two-tone flash that is twice the uniformity of light. Well, Samsung's making subjects. these screens, isn't they? aren't they? So let's look at some yeah. photos taken from the backside camera on iPhone 10. Absolutely beautiful. Great dynamic range, detail. Don't. Would you believe me if I said that was from a 7S? Yes. Textures yeah. are simply That's a problem. stunning. Now there's zero shutter lag and that helps to freeze motion so we can get a photo Literally like zero. <laughs> Look at that blue sky with low noise. It's absolutely to die for. Whoa. The OIS. The phone has some pretty bad shutter lag still though, I think. You get incredible low light images <laughs> like this with a telephoto. No, but he said zero, well so the literally there's not. I'll be impressed. It's just so even close. For the portrait mode feature that we all love. On iPhone 10, you can get great portrait modes, especially in lower light. Well, they don't announce a release date. iPhone 10 supports the brand new portrait oh, light no. feature as well. Pre order will be it's coming by the end of this year. Right off of iPhone 10, not they might, they might in do any that. Way, with the stage lighting effect Sucks. dropping off the background. It. It's a good picture. I don't have a rational reason to want it, but I want it iPhone 10 is great for photos, it's amazing for 4K video, and like iPhone 8, it's tuned for AR applications. There's factory that cut out on the left cameras, in the new gyroscope, landscape mode accelerometer, is the bad. performance advantages of the A11, oh, it's cutting Bionic off a piece of the CPU, game GPU, UI. and hmm. ISP, and AR kit is tuned Looks like the uh, bezels are too. I mean, it's not, now, yeah, the and it's not like that, that most might have been superimposed the because they didn't let them the have the have our right, like, maybe, well. but then People superimpose it so it doesn't look like things are getting cut off. That's true. Photographs. And now with iPhone 10 and its true depth camera, it really delivers a breakthrough in the photos you can take for selfies. <laughs> because now with selfies, you can take portrait mode photos as well. It's kind of cool. Yes. And it also supports. Wait. Portrait lighting oh. all through the front side true depth camera. That's true. You've got more advanced cameras in the front of this now than you do on the back. No, the same advancedness. Oh, and and just with the IR stuff and all that. The selfies you can take with the iPhone 10. This is absolutely beautiful. I take so many selfies. Of course, everything we've seen is powered in iPhone Tim 10 by the amazing new A11 Bionic chip. We talked all about an iPhone 8, but it's worth hitting on the highlights again because there has never been anything like it. A 64 bit. Six core design, 4.3 billion transistors, two high performance we'll cores, four high efficiency cores. Mm -hmm. Our new well, second generation we don't know about performance controller that uses all six cores at once. Our first Apple design graphics processing unit. The brand new ISP. That's a lot of Apple designed IP and an SOC. The video encoder that is real time. Tell me what LTE motion mode analysis it. while you're shooting video. The neural engine and of course the secure enclave to protect our Face ID data. All this performance, I'm sure as you expect, does come with a hit to battery life. <gasps> oh no. So I think it's important hmm. to tell you that we've increased it. Yes, it lasts. They didn't say anything about that on the 8, did they? Yes. Nope. Again, hardware and software teams work really hard to deliver two more hours. They didn't say 7 plus, though. So, 
Is there a wireless, 10 and a 10 plus? Just like yeah. iPhone 8. Yeah. iPhone 10 is also built for wireless. But it's world. like the size of an There's iPhone 7. There's charging through the glass back, and it's it will not work the size? with the no. cheap charging devices. Oh no! Like the ones we it's, mentioned It's this Mobile size Falcon. with a bigger screen. It also work with third-party mm. cheap devices that are cheap. The bigger screen than that. And there are a lot of great devices mm. that are going to start. That's a five and a half inch screen. They have a 5.8 on this. iPhone 10. But we also think we can make the wireless charging experience even better. So our team wants to create something. I think all of us we're going to want to use, and it might actually help move the entire industry forward. So we're going to give you a sneak peek oh, man. of this idea right now. Well, this idea we couldn't develop in time. I'm sure many of you do this. I do this. I have a lot of Apple products. I love them. I use them all day long. I charge them at night. You plug in your cables. You plug in your chargers. You take those cables and chargers with you on the road when you travel. Well, they don't it care. passes through we the charge at the top so you can to stack your devices. Better experience. And here the AirPods is. don't have wireless charging. Oh, I guess the new bad. ones do. That, that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down, and it just starts to charge. This is not it's a new. Beautiful new interface. What it doesn't stop. What there. is he you saying? Place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it. So, so it's a charging mat with three coils. Well. That's not really new. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging. Oh, are you case kidding on me? It, and it starts to charge <laughs> as well. They all at least, at least they're letting you buy the case I and not see. replace oh, the will? whole AirPods. Oh, okay. They said with new optional wireless charging case. Okay. Because okay. the there's no reason that. The system is a great interface. That, yeah. They intelligently work together and communicate with each other to manage the charging through one more efficient charging system. Did we lose Sebastian? This is not Look how wide that base is. current standards. Oh, about that base. How to do this. We call it air power. <laughs> <laughs> then why is it right? Because that can be confusing and awkward. We hope people love it. Airy and encourages power. others to create more advanced solutions based on technology like this. What We're does going that to be mean? working with the Chi Standards team to incorporate these benefits into the future what of the standards. What benefits did he say? To make wireless charging it, better for everyone. Are you able to charge everything? It, it, air power charger, it was in intelligently standards. managing how much power we're sending to each device. So that that's what it was. IPhone 10. I assume. It is but isn't that more in the, the smartphone. receiving end? It is packed with many innovative features. I don't know. <laughs> Huge list, we won't go through them all. And they add up to a new, better experience. Mm, nothing on there that we didn't see. And so emoji. excited about iPhone 10. Nothing on there we didn't a, see. Oh, video to tell you in all about it. Previous. Show me the video. Uh, there better be Come on, Johnny. at least five and emoji spots. Come on, Johnny. For more than a yes! decade, our intention <clears throat> has been to create an iPhone that is all display. A physical object that disappears into the experience. This is iPhone 10. Someone is that Sting playing a loot? Developing the form and display together defines a whole new. Integration, it's impressive looking. Making the boundary between the device and I'm the screen seeing it hard to discern. Demo though, I the custom OLED I'm not panel getting over that was engineered side. to fold. Does, it does feel weird. Combined yeah. with the external surfaces. Yeah, it, it is. It's like yeah. It's like, like I, I imagine that about the software over time gestures. will adapt and you know There's apps no will home not button. put things A single there, swipe takes you to the home having screen. Having it just kind of take a chunk out of your video. And a single swipe the or a single button. In iOS 11, are more fluid. But that would be even weirder because then you have this awkward the polished stainless steel band. You still have your signal bars and stuff. The water resistant all glass design. That bump looks like it was glass bigger. formulation. It the is. most durable ever in a smartphone enables for the first time. I don't wireless really care charging. about the camera bump. It's never been a problem. Our new true depth camera and I don't use a case so. contained within this tiny space uses extraordinary depth sensing technology to let you unlock your phone. With a okay, glance. they show it working, sitting we down. Call this face ID. Just one of the questions I had. The unique geometry of your face works if you're dripping wet, apparently. Invisible dots. She should be using the LTE Apple Watch. This the 30,000 number is the same number that Qualcomm gave for the data points on this, uh, the first weird depth sensing kind. technology. Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical changes. I'm guessing that this for the face sensor, face they did not, your secure or were not able to go completely so proprietary. They would have to have bought it. Oh, no, no, no. There was leaks came out about all whose sensors they bought and stuff. And that's really what the okay, bottleneck right. there is. Also enables new experience. Oh, yeah, there's one. Like bringing emojis Two. to life by God, mapping more than 50 facial muscles in real time. So you Three. can be happy or sad Four. or cross. Five. 
five and emoji go. references. Six. Both count that. The front one. and rear facing cameras now have portrait mode, and for portrait the first time, mode. you can actually define the light in a scene. He hasn't been in this country that Based long. Based on <laughs> fundamental <laughs> photographic principles, portrait lighting produces the effect of real studio lighting. It's neat. The I don't really care that much, but it's neat. The system is completely redesigned. It's made even smarter by the A11. Look at the OIS at work. It's like With machine head. learning, the camera detects elements in the scene to optimize the image before the photo is even taken. Not with like sensing the depth. Camera we like use it, by artificial day, intelligence, it's able to know that. So much more. Machine learning. And as iOS becomes the I think the uh, biggest platform, thing to come out of this is going to be the front-facing camera depth effects. Possible. Yeah. Yeah. With all of this, I think it should be illegal. Have a blurred background. It should be illegal for people to think everything that has a sensor. There's. What's that? He works hard to make iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 in the most Microphone. environmentally on the back of manner that. possible. They have arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free displays. They're BFR-free, PVC-free, beryllium-free. They're now made with a low-carbon process for their aluminum design. And they're highly recyclable with their materials. On an annual level, cadence. So I like to say it every time. Yeah. iPhone 10 <clears throat> also comes in two configurations. Huh. 64 gigs and 250. Good thing I don't need more than 64 gigs. Be priced oh, yeah, you do. From $9.99. Yep. You can order it starting on October 27th. Ooh. It'll begin to ship on November 3rd. Ooh. This is the future of the smartphone shipping this year. See, that's, that's, so this that's is our what I thought. The holidays. Now, every well, year we say it's a great lineup for the holidays, and it what is. What happens with iPhone this year is really eight special. sales, sales numbers. It starts with iPhone yeah, that's, that's, that's iPhone 6S, a higher iPhone 7, ASP the new generation, oh, iPhone 8. Yeah, $300 more starting. But, but there's still, iPhone still going to be 10. an interesting number of people that, wait. that would wait. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm not going to buy the 8. Well, why, yeah, why? But I'd buy the 10. Right. I just want to have the newer, better thing. Ten years ago. So I should get the Steve 8 and then the 10. The world to yeah. iPhone. Right. He closed with well, a quote. Apple will be happy to help you finance that. <laughs> exactly. Because a lot of people just do it through their phone plan anyway. I would with T-Mobile. See, this this is playing into what I thought they would do. Said that's what like, Apple they're pitching does this 10 as like where the, puck is going the future. Be. They're where, like, and that is what they're like leaning in. Is all yeah. about. Usually they don't do that. Back they're the optimization of the best stuff today. Right? But they always say about the best the, thing ever. Nothing updates. in that yes, phone not for is the original phone or even the iPhone, iPhone 4. The face symptom depth really sensing is the future. has been That's announced and talked about, tech, but it's not in a device They've done that in, in, in the interim between web? other iPhone uh, launches. It's, it's yes, different. in your large you're desktop not, webcam. You're not using an IR projector in that. There's nothing crazy new here. You're not using IR projecting and depth sensing. But that, you're doing are. 3D, you you're doing stereoscopic image. I think it's no, it's, I think we're just using an IR projector. IR. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, it's, a, it's a connect. Like, all this stuff is just all connect. that. I don't think every implementation of a Windows well, the, did the that. The Brio and also the Toby is that too. Well, I know the Toby yeah. is for sure, but that's because they got to measure the eyes. The IR yeah. light is what reflects on the inside of your retinas for that. That's, that's one the, part of it. Is that's how they that that's how they get away with not 10. doing masks? Is the reflection of your actual eyeballs? Thank you. So if you invent Thank a really you. good fake eyeball, you can still get past face ID. Face ID. Thank you. For the 3D scan of your face. They, they literally masks. just show like they, they talked did, about that. But they so didn't what have. A morning we've had. It's the IR reflection in the retinas that goes back and forth. That's key there. Cellular, which gives you the freedom to go so anywhere you, when you, you want. rob somebody, you need to take their eyeballs. Right. Okay. Then you can unlock Apple their phone. CD4K it's, so it's, the uh, of the cinema um, what is the Tom Cruise movie? With incredible 4K and HDR content. Uh, minority Report? iPhone yes. A, yeah. Beautiful glass they traded in eyeballs in that because it was right, right. You're right. A11 bionic chip and what? of course, bionic. powerful AR capabilities. So we weird. think you're going to love it. An iPhone 10, the most advanced iPhone we've ever made. The November incredible 3rd, new design, huh? Face ID. I can already hear some of the uh, PR we're going to hear from companies like Qualcomm after this announcement. An iPhone before. Mm -hmm. Qualcomm really started their PR blitz the yesterday with that stupid chart. Started at SIGGRAPH.
They did all their depth sensing tech. And we began this morning. Well, Qualcomm distributed a chart of like Some features that were expected to be the iPhone 8 and the first Android phone they were in. One of the However, what they didn't take into account is no phone has all of those features. The and for face Android. sensing, they had Qualcomm reference device list. Yeah, yeah. that's not good. No. And put it out there. With an incredibly high really margin. Apple to create <laughs> wonderful things. You, see, you won't believe our margins. We've introduced today. I think Steve would be really proud of them. I'm not sure he would be. I don't know the answer. I think Steve would have pushed for this like two or three years ago. I'd like to thank everyone at Apple who made today possible. You're welcome. Uh, I'd like everybody in Apple to stand up that are here representing their Show team. Show the whole crowd. Hardware and the software and services. Please stand up in operations. <laughs> Our amazing retail Okay, employees. not you in front of the camera. <laughs> And everyone that works. I want somebody so in the room to tell me what percentage of the people that were in that room were Apple employees. Park. It looked, it looked one not of the great things about this theater is an unbelievable hands on area. Uh, it is the most beautiful hands on I mean, area we've ever tell. had by far. What does that and mean? I would encourage Just hearing all the of applause, you to join it, us there. The, the, the and get thought your hands that on these quote, wonderful press. Products. Even if they Thank cover Apple so much exclusively, for spending the morning with us. would gather Thank and you. applause. It's so distasteful. It is. Uh, it happens. And other companies have had similar... It's one thing to applaud for a person coming up. Yes. Like, but it's another thing to applaud for like a feature announcement. Yeah. on. And it's only nine ninety nine. Isn't that incredible? Oh, my God. Right. All right. Well, that ends uh, the special event at the Steve Jobs Theater in Cupertino. Uh, what did we learn about the hardware on it? Not uh, much. Well... Uh, it is a uh, Apple design it, GPU, which we don't know but nothing that was about. Not outside the realm. I mean, that, that, that was, didn't that, leak. The, well, that didn't leak. We knew there was. We a, thought about it. I didn't think it was going to be this early. Yeah, when they ditched imagination, we theorized about it, but we thought it was probably too early for them to do it. I mean, I, so six core, four little, there was not two big. An, there was not an unrealistic possibility. It was no, be this but year. we uh, didn't no. know what was going to happen. Seventy like percent faster than an A10. Uh, 70% faster in multi-threading. GPU, non matches so ISP, yeah. low light, yeah. Just snuck up, snuck up behind stay. poor Jim. How does this, how do you deal with the scenario of you don't want the security person at the airport to rifle through your phone? You all they have to do is point it this, at you. This is an iOS 11 feature. Yeah. You tap the button five times, it turns off t touch ID and probably face ID. It makes it passcode only. Oh, you're saying like they just uh, point the phone at you and now they've unlocked yeah, it. And right. yeah, it's, I could see that being. Well, actually, was that confirmed? What? Because I also read something that said that might be a bug. I doubt that's a bug. Yeah, it, seems it's not a bug. Okay. I'm pretty sure they could grab it's, your it's arm emergency, you do that five times. It's emergency <laughs> SOS mode. Uh, now I'm going to have to do that. Practice it? And it, you can feel it like uh, 3D and touch vibrate. So that vibrate. disables touch ID? Yeah, so if I X out of there and then try to use Touch ID, it doesn't work. Uh, okay. But you guys don't take burner phones on your trips? I, I do, China. but those, those are for the drug deals, but I keep my normal ones still. That kind of turns it into a burner phone. Uh, what else did we learn? Uh, same chip in the iPhone X 10, yeah. sorry, right? Not necessarily um, unexpected. New GPU, uh, or first time there, it's our own GPU. They said it was a new ISP, right? They said yeah. it was an Apple-designed ISP. Was the first the time first they've designed time an ISP. Okay. I knew it was the first time they said they designed a GPU. I didn't know it was the first time they said they designed an ISP. Uh, and a new video encoder. Which is their first as well. well. No, I know that's not the case. One of them for sure, I heard him say very specifically, like a brand new. No, that was a succession of that, going like... That was the storage chip. It was the second generation Apple storage chip. But I'm pretty sure the other three were firsts. Hmm. All right. Dies I want to see this chip works tear down on that thing. <laughs> I mean, it could all be on one die. It's just an SOC, right? Like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like when Qualcomm builds their GPU, CPU, DSP, ISP, it's all one pack. It's all one die. It's all yeah. one yeah. one monolithic product. So they're just breaking it up here in order to show it as a 
you know, the marketing bullets of, of what they've been able to do. Uh, so that's it. I'm a little disappointed on the, but not surprised on the October 27th to November 3rd. So that puts it, what's the other one? September 22nd. So more than a full month behind, month and a half behind the other one. They didn't I, talk I, about availability. I mean, they uh, never mentioned the price of the 256 gig model of any of the phones. It's a hundred dollars more. Yeah. You think it's only hundred bucks? That's, that's what that's they've always That's a pretty good deal been. then, if that's true. Well, that's normally what they do. Is the because you're getting a hundred and sixty something It's usually not four times gigs. the storage. It's usually well, they've been doing weird stuff with the storage where they had like thirty two and then one twenty eight as the tiers for the yeah. iPhones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe the same. Well, All right, that's it for us. I don't. You know, if you found it interesting, I guess let us know. There were a lot of people watching, but you know. Oh, hey, the Apple do site's already up. Oh, I can't pre-order. Yeah, Chad says the 256 it. is 1149. Yeah, so it's just going to look. So, out. It, goes, so it goes up 150 dollars. Okay. On the X. On the or X. Or the 10. Sorry. Yes, it's exactly. The 10 guys. And I assume if it's 150 dollars there, it's going to be 150 dollars everywhere. That would right? be an increase though over their standard because like right now. But they now, didn't do 64 to 256 before. Right, but they've they had, had wonky, 128 they, to 256. They've had wonky, not even distribution of tiers before, and it's always been. Well, but 32 to 128 is 96 gigs. 64 to 256 is 168. No. Right. So it's 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 different. Right, but I'm just that they've set that precedent, so that'll be interesting. I mean, how about I just look up the iPhone 8 pricing? Hurry up. What do you got? Well, iPhone 8 pricing went up anyway because the base model is now 700 instead of 649. Mm -hmm. True. So they have raised prices 50 bucks across the board, it looks like. It's a $150 increase now. Okay. It's 850 yeah, for the 56. The 850 is $799 just taking out the middle tier. 749 for the plus. Yeah. They're taking out the middle tier and giving you $50 off. Uh, and which, which older models are they keeping? It had the 7... I, didn't, have, I, didn't I mean, see they that have shot. the 7, 6S, and SE still listed on their website, but... SE, that's the way to go. Save your I mind. have one. You know what it has? A headphone jack. <laughs> <laughs> you win. It's the newest you phone win. with a headphone jack that I could get. All right, that's going to be it for everybody, uh, for us, everybody. Hey, Sebastian, thanks for calling in. Uh, no problem. Thanks and offering for your, me, your significantly... I'm going to go to the after commentary. party now. Uh, people yeah. are congregating. Yeah, go up to the hands-on area. I've heard it's the most beautiful hands-on area they've ever had. I'm not sure what that means. Oh my god! But. It's it's like it's all white. It's like I'm in my light tent right now. <laughs> all right, man. Talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody. Yeah. See ya.